ridiculous. I was, I was touching up my nails. I'm like really enjoying for the first time in a while, like having nails because I'm not like, <gasps> no, do you have pumpkin pie? Pie and coffee. Mm. Oh, I could die. You're like a living meme right now. Why? <laughs> It's pie and coffee. You know, like cops mm. like pie shop stuff. I love pie so much. I like pie more than cake. I do too. Mm. That's awesome. Matt likes cake, but I like pie probably better than let's see. Yeah, let's see. Tell me. Hmm. What do you like pie better than? Well, I'm thinking of all the desserts. I pretty much like every dessert. Yeah, me too. I love sweets, which is my problem. Same here. So um good. I want to say I like pie better than ice cream as well. Me too. But I really it, like pie and ice cream together. So, Ooh, interesting. Because <laughs> I, I like some ice cream with my pie, but like I like like a Cool Whip or like a, a like a whipped cream or whatever a lot. But it has to be like a good whipped cream, not like just like yeah, you know, not yeah. stuff that leaves that weird film in your I, roof of your mouth. I only like ice cream with, um, you know, it's pretty good with pumpkin pie. I only like it with like fruit pies though. Like me too. Like apple a, and stuff. Like a warm apple pie with a scoop of ice cream on the side is like. Oh. Yeah, dude. So mm. so so another dessert I love that's like pie is like a cobbler, like a layered. My oh, yeah. my oh, mom yeah. makes this peach cobbler. Mm. It's making my mouth water, and it's like it's yeah. pie crust layered mm. in the cobbler, and it is mm. so it's everything you want about it. It's like a deconstructed pie. Yeah, yeah. So good. I love Thanks cobbler. My oh. my my grandmother. Um, not, not the one that recently died, but my other one that's still alive, she makes the most amazing cobblers, peach cobblers. Like, (laughs) that is just such a taste. I love peach cobbler. Like I really Mm. love it. Like it's something that I could definitely, um, like I shouldn't have it every day, but I wish I could. I I totally could. And I think I, I really like cookies too, though. Uh, I like cookies. Okay. But they don't be pie. But I, I, I was thinking, I think I would have to rank them. Pie, ice cream, cookies, cake. Ooh, pie, ice cream, cookies. Yeah, same. Exact same order. That's so funny. Matt would definitely do ice cream, cake, cookies, pie, mm. which is so crazy. He doesn't even like pumpkin or sweet potato pie. Krista would do ice cream, cake. Oh, no, wait. She would do ice cream, cookies, cake, and pie. She doesn't like pie. Wow. Yeah. Does she like sweets though at all, or like that's just like is she, she like, a sweet person? Uh, she, she not. I mean, she likes chocolate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every woman. I, Matt likes chocolate more than I, like I like fruit pies a lot. Me too. Like, Me too. I love fruit pies. Best, and he does not. They're like at the bottom of his thing. He'd rather have like chocolate, thick chocolate cake, but like too much chocolate and it's like overly rich to me. I, I like fruit. I'm actually not a chocolate person. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's like, yeah, it does. I, I, I like chocolate and I'll eat it, but I don't ever crave it. You know, I, feel like I'm, I might be that way too, actually. Like it's rare that I, I would crave a, a, like a pie dessert first. Or oh, I would too. Dessert. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. I, um, I don't know why I have people that like, they like, they're like obsessed with a certain, you know, they, they like can't have junk chocolate. They like, like specialty delicious chocolate. It's all yeah. kind of the same to me. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. I don't really Sorry. like have a preference in chocolate. If I want chocolate, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. I mean, literally the, the only chocolate I'm like, Ooh, I, I really, you know, if I ever buy chocolate, it's usually like M&Ms. I mean, really? You know, yeah. I like M&Ms wow. for some reason. You know what huh. I really like is when we go to the movies. Yeah. I love movie theater popcorn. Oh, me too. So with, much. With M&Ms. Oh my gosh. That's funny. I, I know somebody else that likes that. So so good together because you yeah. get because you get the flavor of the popcorn with the salt and yeah then get, and then you get the crunch of the m&ms with the sweet uh milk chocolate and that, i'm gonna try that and that so the, the the trick is is you don't mix them in because you would never get them you just yeah they don't you have go your, to the bottom right you have your m&m bag right there or whatever uh-huh. and then you know you pop in a hand of, a handful of popcorn and then you pop in like three or four m&ms as a chaser and then crunch it all up together <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm going to try that. We're going to, we're going to go to the movies when that, um, there's this new movie called like downsized or something. Oh yeah. The, with, uh, with Matt Damon. It looks amazing. Yeah. It looks crazy, right? Dude, like, can you, how cool would it be to be the person to be like, Hey, we need you to make a prop for this. It's a giant saltine. 
hilarious. Like, I know. It's I such know. a giant saltine. Like that's just such a funny prop. I mean, I have no idea if it would be a good movie, but I, I love the premise of it because it just Me seems too. so different and so unique, you know. And it's like, yeah. it's like I love superhero movies and I love big budget movies yes. and I love sci-fi movies, but I, I really like seeing unique story movies, you know, Me and too. it's like, and it's like this downside or down, is it downsized or downsizing? I can't remember. I don't know. One of the two. It, it, it just looks so different, like completely out of the yeah, left so field different. kind of idea. Like, Hey, we're running out of space. We can shrink everything. Do you want yeah. to live a luxury, a luxury shrinked lifestyle? You know, I would, I and, and, cool. and I like the premise of it. I, I think that makes for an interesting story. You know, yeah, so. it's so creative. Like, I wonder who came up with that. That's like, I, I'd love to see what they're, what other kind of things they think about because that's very imaginative. Yeah, I don't know if the guy that wrote or the guy that directed it. Um, I, I have to, I'm gonna have to look up his name, but he he does kind of off the wall kind of movies. Not really like totally oh, you know off something the wall, we can talk about. We can just have a chat because I wanted to ask you what well, you thought we're, about the. We're, we're already recording, so we can just like keep oh, this okay. conversation going if you want. Hi guys, we're just gonna talk. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> well, at this point, they're used to us just like talking. Well, like, we, right, we had such a good pie conversation. I feel like that we has did, to be shared. Yeah, people should know about that. I feel like that has to be shared with the rest of the world. <laughs> I agree with you. I think that people should weigh in on what they like better and and um what they don't because i think yeah. pie is just the, I, the holidays aren't the holidays without pie for me although let me tell you something at thanksgiving this is my first this is our first thanksgiving at my brother's house with his new wife's and their her family and jill came to my family's thanksgiving yeah how was that for is, her is she from a she big family it. or anything or she's a triplet so she and they're oh, the only siblings she's a, wait she's a triplet i know right are they identical no, but they look really alike to me. Really? Oh, crazy. Like, yeah. And um, her her mom used to like enter them. And the, there's this place called like Twinsburg in Ohio. And they have yeah. like an annual festival for oh, twins. Oh, they do like a – like a yeah. yeah. And yeah. so she's, they used to like compete and stuff. It's oh, so weird. Seriously? Yeah. I was that's, like, you have to tell us that. You have to, when she when we have crazy. her on, yeah, she'll yeah. have to get some interesting stories. So um, she – she I have a big family and it's split. So we do Thanksgiving at one and then we do yeah. thanks, afternoon Thanksgiving at the other. And we had gumbo at the other one. And because like they're from Louisiana and so gotcha. it's like a different kind of um, meal. So I took her to both and she's like, I didn't realize I was eating lightly at the first one and her and Matt just stuffed themselves and Matt yeah. knows better because he knows we're going to the other one. Yeah. And Jill yeah. was like, wait, is there a break? And I'm like, no, we literally just go right. Just going to go <laughs> eat there too. Yeah. <laughs> so it was so funny. She's like, oh gosh. And um, it was, uh, she liked them. It was really fun. It's like, it's so funny because my family are very old fashioned and like they know of art as like a traditional art and like, I don't know. They're just not really into, they don't really know anything. They don't, they don't keep up with stuff in the world. They live yeah. in a small town. They're very involved in the town. My uncle just won. Uh, the, yeah, his, he's his the mayor, day. right? Yeah. yeah. And so they are, this is their environment. They don't really know about 3d modeling and things like that. So it, went, it, it was really hard to explain her job. Like I think my granddad thinks she does 3d film stuff oh, like gotcha. make 3d yeah. and i'm like yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no 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 it's like <laughs> yeah so um but she had a good time with them um but the the weirdest thing was so it was our first time having caitlin's family and um, she has a big family and they're very family oriented so it was, an, it was a wonderful big gathering it's nice to have everybody together but they made this like they're they have like one side of their family is like heavily mountain folk and they have this traditional like bourbon whiskey pie recipe bourbon whiskey like pumpkin pie yeah. and i do not like that and I grab a piece and I take a bite and I was like, oh gosh, is it, it was like, so strong. I say, is it like really strong? It was way too strong. Yeah, like yeah. I was, I can't believe it. I've had like bourbon pecan pie and stuff where it's like cooked mm-hmm. out. This tasted like alcohol. Like alcohol. Yeah. I was like, oh God, it was like dragon's breath, fiery. Whiskey <laughs> like it was so strong. I was like, oh my gosh. Would, would it have and been I, good with ice like, cream? Would it have been good with ice cream? I don't know. I feel like if you had enough, you would get drunk. <laughs> Because it wasn't like cooked out, and I was like, no. "Oh, I'm toasty." If is I it have bad it. That I, is it bad that I kind of want to try a bite of it? <laughs> I wish that you, I, dude. If there was any, if I would totally send you some. Uh, it's funny because Caitlin's just, parents just live into my street. That's how small the town is. <laughs> oh, do they really? They're it's that. So they're that close. This, yeah, the person yeah. that my husband was destined to marry lives at the yeah. end of my street. <laughs> it's crazy to me to think of that. It's uh, it's just under our nose the whole time. I can walk there, which is so funny. But yeah, it's it's cool to see like their families. Traditional, traditional like foods brought into ours and stuff, yeah. and so now I know not to go for the darker pie next the year. Dark. <laughs> oh my gosh! But um, well, I mean, mom, it depends on your mood. If you want to get ripped, uh, you that's go true. for the darker pie. And I mean, that side of the family. So like, Caitlin's family, they're drinkers. They have like 
you know, alcohol at, at a family events. My family is dry. Yeah. Dry, 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 yeah. dry, 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 dry. Yeah. I'm talking like the driest dry. This used to be a dry island and that was probably their fault. So <laughs> there is no drinking at family events. And we hold hands and say grace. And I held Jill's hand. <laughs> I was like, sorry, Jill, I'm holding your hand, girl. <laughs> We're saying grace. My dad's a preacher. So it's yeah. uh, it was yeah. funny. And then um, we go to my other side of the family and they they mix uh, Jill uh, Bloody Mary as soon as she gets yeah, there. Yeah, like completely like, different. So yeah. different. Couldn't be more different. And um, so it's like, it's such a funny extreme. And it's just one end of the island to the other. That's <laughs> like just, funny. That one's like, at that end and that one's all the way down in the fishing village, the polar, drinker's eyes. Polar opposite, you know. Yeah, it was a fun experience. But um, yeah, it's, uh, I lo- you know, it's so weird. Matt and I were talking about this. Um, you have kids, but they're grown now. Do you, do you feel the holiday vibe? You know, like when you're younger, it's like December 1st. Ah! And you want like to look at wreaths and Christmas lights and you just like smell Christmas. Everything is Christmas. Yeah. It's like the countdown. But if you don't have kids and you're an older adult or you're like, you're like a younger adult or you have older kids, I wonder, does that like, like, I kind of feel like I'm like, oh, is it Christmas? Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of an unfortunate part of growing up. Yeah. I hate it. So, <laughs> I like want to get hyped it, it, about it. It really does. It's like, and, and I know, yeah, yeah, I bet a lot of people could say, well, it definitely has a lot to do with your attitude and what you put out there and stuff. But That's it's true. just like, for me, the older I get, and especially with my kids basically being grown up, um, it, it just never feels like Christmas, even when it is Christmas. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. And it's like, I, I want to get into it. I used to be super into it. I mean, yeah. even, even like maybe five years ago, I've kind of gone out of it when my, it, I guess it really started with like four years ago when I got my first new dog, we couldn't put up a Christmas tree that year because she was yanking it down and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we haven't put up a Christmas tree in like three years. And that's, I feel like in order to get back in that spirit, maybe I should do that. Like my Nana is, you know, 83 and she still puts the wreaths on the door and she still makes an effort. She has like her nativity scene yeah. and I, and like, so she still gets into it. So I guess maybe it is just, it could, could be like projecting, but it's the whole thing of like, I, and like, I think a lot of people that listen to us are like, you know, our age or married and whatnot. And so you run into this thing of like, if it's just two people in your home, you're not wrapping 65 presents and putting them under the tree. It's That's not like, true. Yeah. You know? And so yeah. for me, it's like, as an adult, you almost kind of like, I told Matt, I was like, don't get me a gift this year. He needs a new laptop. Let's just get you a nice new laptop. So it's like, we're foregoing the gift thing. And that's, that's such a weird, um, adult thing to do. Yeah. It, it, I, I get that though. I totally do. So I, and I bought all my family, the weirdest presents this year, which is in hindsight, not the best idea I bought. And here's why I bought everybody the ancestry.com genetics test kit. We really oh, yeah. only need one. Oh yeah. Why did I sense. get that for everybody? <laughs> 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 they were on sale. They're usually like a hundred dollars each. So I just got a slew of them for everybody. I'm like, oh my gosh! If yeah. somebody comes back with different results, uh-oh. yeah, uh oh, <laughs> <Uh-oh. laughs> that know? could be the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> oh, wait, no, Christmas will never be the same. Exactly. Oh my gosh! So I'm curious. I got myself a different one though. I got the one that's like the gen. I get, it's not ancestry.com. I, I got the one that's like the medical and genetics. Just oh, really? like I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody else wants that. That's too dark. They don't want to know if they have like it's you know something wrong with their liver cells. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited to see, um, you know, how everybody's related because oddly enough, there's like this, um, there's this famous photo on our Island that's 11 women and, um, they're the 11 like women of the Island. Like everybody was yeah. married. It's like Etheridge, Daniels, um, Scarborough. Everybody is related to those people. Everybody. Yeah. That's yeah. a local. And I'm talking, I'm like, I don't know how I am. I don't know how I like, even have a brain <laughs> and I didn't come out like upside down and like, you know, head <laughs> legs coming out of my head because everybody's related. Yeah. And like, yeah. it's kind of creepy because it's the way small I, communities are. Yeah. And so. it's because this, this was, place was founded in 1587 and the English people that came here, they had stayed, they married the Indians and like, it yeah. was just, they really localized. And so I, um, it's so funny how I traced, I started the ancestry branches and my mom's side and my dad's side both ran into each other. They ran yeah. into the same lady. Yeah. And so did my pop's side and my Nana's side. Huh. And I was like, oh, because of course my mom would be popping Nana. And it's like, it's doubly related. If I showed this to people, they would be like, what? They'd it's be crazy. like, what, what is wrong with Luckily, you people? Luckily it's far enough away. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah it's, it's all, it's all distant. So. Yeah. But the weirdest thing is like, 
you know, royal people used to do that all the time. Yeah. Super strange. Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching that show, The Queen, and I just love it so much. I don't know why. I get it. I get that, like, not people are like, why is that interesting to you? But I love it. I love the whole thing about the royals. I find it interesting. Is, and that, the I'm Net- is that the Netflix one? Yes, it's yeah. so good. And the new show comes, the new season comes out Friday. And I'm a Doctor Who fan, as we've talked about before. And Matt Smith plays Prince Philip. So I just yeah. love that. I like Matt Smith a lot, actually. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, my wife watched that show. I didn't have a chance to watch it, but. It looked, like it, it looked like it was really well produced. Like they spent so a good. lot of money on it. Yeah. And the culture, it's like weird to see the rules with the yeah. queen, you know, yeah. all like even the rules that were in, you know, she was queen in 1952, I think are uh, crowned. So it's like interesting yeah. to see that those traditions still exist. But um, I don't know if you'll like it. I went, I just now went inside to get water right before the podcast and um, Matt was asleep. So I guess he's not enjoying it. <laughs> He was asleep on the in his chair. I was like, well, <laughs> this is the second time he's tried to watch it. Well, maybe and he I, is enjoying it in his own way. He's like, yeah, he I, is. I enjoy the fact that it helps me sleep. So yes, there you exactly. go. <laughs> I did something yesterday to him and he was falling asleep. Like as I was doing it, he's like, that, he's like, that is my soothing thing. Whatever you're listening to. I was watching it on my phone. Yeah. Can't remember. Yeah, yeah. And so, he's like, he's like, it was putting him to sleep. That's, that's working for me. And I was trying to show him it. And I'm like, well, that I guess I'll never be able to show this to you because it's like narcolepsy. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like uh, the, is it the rubbing the uh, alligator's tummy thing, you know? Yeah. Boom, no. <laughs> he can fall asleep standing up. It's crazy. Like That's, that's funny. Oh my gosh, that's it's so funny. insane. But yeah, but I want to ask you something. Um, I was watching Cinema Sins last night and because yeah. um, I love that series. Cinema it's Sins just, cracks me up. It is so crazy. I mean, I sometimes I'm like, okay, you're stretching. I yeah, that. it's entertainment. Like, it's entertainment. On. It is. You know, and yeah. I love sometimes I'm just like, wow, that's, you know, it blows yeah. your mind. Stuff yeah. he finds in films. But um, he was, I watched the Spider-Man Homecoming one because I just uh-huh. watched that movie and I really yeah. liked it. I thought it was Spider-Man good. Homecoming? Like, yeah, yeah. I thought it was great. Yeah. And he, uh, the things he pulled apart were a little like, eh. I, yeah, you know, really I saw that there was good. a new episode out for it, you know, and I was yeah. like, I was like, you know, I'm not ready to watch that yet because I really enjoyed the movie. And sometimes, yes, and even though I know, you know, it's entertainment and sometimes, you know, it's like, sometimes it's kind of corny. It's like, okay, yeah, whatever. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, dude, he you know? picked apart. Yeah. But, but but sometimes it's like, I wait because I want to like completely savor the movie in my head the way I interpreted it, you know? Yeah. And, and, and even though, even though not all the things are true or correct or even right yeah it, it kind of sullies a movie for me if i really enjoyed the movie i i, yeah. I appreciate it more if i hated the movie because then i can make fun of it you know <laughs> yeah exactly and that's why i like it like fast and furious i like fast and furious because it was cheesy but i love the way he handles it and the yeah pulls out. yeah exactly Cause that's the same way i talk to it i'm like yeah okay paul walker you know yeah yeah so i but so he, i purposely haven't watched that one yet because i yeah, didn't want it yet. to like, I, I didn't want it to like because i Saw Homecoming just a couple weeks ago. Finally, me too. Like, yeah, and I, I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it, I, I, it was. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's just like every time I think, okay, another Marvel movie. Don't really need one more of these. You yeah. Know, what, what What more can you do? And every time they just make a great, fun movie. You know. Yeah, they do. It's fun. It's, it's finally, very enjoyable. I finally saw Ragnarok like a week and a half ago, and it was amazing. I loved. I it. watched it, was, it pirated. I'm it so was sorry. So Internet. much fun. <laughs> It was, it was so really good, though. It was. It was fun. It was. I was a fun movie. So, yeah. So, what I were like you gonna? What were oh, you gonna I wanted say to tell about- you. I'm um, speaking of cinemas. So, two things. Yeah. I want to ask you something about Wonder Woman. But the first thing is, um, the Warcraft one that he dissected. Yeah. I, I hated it. I didn't even watch the whole thing because he dissected it. I thought he was going to dissect the lore and like actually know the story and make fun of that. He yeah. just made fun of the movie. Yeah. I, I haven't I watched like, that one because I haven't watched the Warcraft movie yet. It's didn't. not he, his, his, his like critique of it. I really didn't like it. I was like, this is yeah. not, you're, you're critiquing something ridiculous. Like kind of, kind of uneducated because he does uneducated. Know yeah. And that was weird. But cause like the Marvel ones, he'll pick out some of the stories and the interesting yeah. things is like, he knows, but then the Warcraft one, no effort. So yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to ask you, I, I was watching how, this thing about women last night and it said like, you know, the first one, female director to ever make over a hundred million dollars is the wonder woman director. Yeah. yeah. Patty, and then Patty that led Jenkins. me down the rabbit hole of why, um, they couldn't cross over the costume people and you know how the new costumes are like causing all that controversy. Oh, with the, with I wanted the Amazon, to ask you what you thought Amazon about Amazon those. Costumes? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really have a horse in the race cause I'm not a woman. So, 
Well, I saw an interesting <laughs> you know, write-up. So, but People were enraged. See, uh, but I think it's like supposed to be a storyline thing. It's like a different part of the story. So that's why they, I don't know. And it could be. It could be. I, I don't know. It, it seemed to me like, because that all kind of stemmed from like one photo that somebody took. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and yeah. I kind of, I kind of felt like it was something that a lot of people raged against without really knowing any context. Boy, does that happen a lot. <laughs> which never, ever happens on never the Never on the internet. You know, so I, I don't know if I have an opinion about it. Yeah, that's how I kind of felt. I, I read the comment. You know, I love to read comments. But did so you I see the that. comment that was supposedly written by one of the women that was one of the stunt people? No, I didn't. She wrote I'll a really long, a really long thing about it. And I'm... There's a photo of her and I'm assuming it was true, you know, and she was basically like, no, that's not what this was about. We actually, yeah, she's actually like, I felt very empowered in this costume, you know, even even though, even though it showed more skin or whatever. And I heard about that. Yeah. And and basically it was just kind of like nice try, but you don't really know what you're talking about. It's kind of, you know, straight from a person that was, that was in the costume themselves. So, but I, in all honesty, it all just kind of seems silly to me, you know? It seemed like people were run, didn't have anything to talk about, so this is what this is like the new yeah. soapbox thing. Yeah, but I but And I, I respect get... people's opinions about it. I respect smart, intelligent, thoughtful opinions about it, but it didn't I didn't care either way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and without knowing the context and not knowing how it fits into the movie because I haven't seen I haven't seen Justice League yet. You know. Oh my gosh, me either. I just kind of didn't is it have out? A, I just Yeah, it's out. It came out like 2 weeks ago. Gosh, I need to go see that. I'm gonna go yeah. get some butter popcorn with M&Ms. <laughs> and M&Ms. Go M&Ms, see it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But but I I love I love the Amazons, you know. So I, I yeah. But I don't. I, I really don't know. Um, I thought the costuming in Wonder Woman was fantastic. So and I'm glad they. But yeah, were, me too. I love. I'm glad it. that they were really nice. portrayed the way they were, and we talked about that before. So. Yeah, um, I really I want to make something. Oh, and speak, so speaking of that, I'm wearing an Epic Echo Coswork shirt today. Oh. Uh, Bev my friends Bev and Heather that, yeah. you know, did the Wonder Woman episode with me. That's their conjoined, um, effort. Their company. Yeah. I just, um, I'm actually going to pick up their Wonder it. Woman pattern. I saw their video yeah, on it and I was yeah. like, Ooh, yeah, girl. yeah. And you know, they do a ton of patterns and stuff. So shout out to yeah, them. I didn't know that about them. And I was like, what the heck? Cause in the episode she said to me, cause I watched the episode, she was like, girl, yeah. if you want to talk patterning, you know, we could do patterning stuff. And I was yeah. like, Oh, she's, she's a, She's a pattern person. Like yeah, she didn't want yeah. to talk about oh, her. Yeah. She loves making, she's like me. She loves making patterns. Those yeah. patterns are, I'm really excited. I like, uh, cause as I've been working on my patterns, I have Tez patterns. I have Kamui's. I look at other people's and I'm like, what, you know, I want to be thorough, but I also don't want to like overkill cause I can be wordy. But I, I think from the glint, the glimpse I saw and I want to get their pattern that it looks like they're like the perfect amount of instruction. They don't leave people hanging, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that doesn't surprise me because everything they do is like, you know, really good quality. Um, yeah. You know, they're both great costume makers, but and they have really neat backgrounds because Heather has a background in being a seamstress, so an actual mm-hmm. sewing oh. background. And that makes Bev, sense. And Bev went to design school for industrial design. So <laughs> it's oh my like gosh. so That's it's amazing. like so it's like the two of them together are, you know, just like this formidable f- they are. They're amazing and I'm so glad. You know how nice it is to have somebody that is like to me, I find um, if I'm around other people that aren't motivated and aren't self-starters and just are like meh about stuff yeah. and have to be pushed, it's like I have to work harder to try to get them involved. I, it must be so nice to have another equal, like an equal that is – Yeah, you know, that's just like ready to go. Kinetic. Yeah. yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's exponential. Yeah, that I would be nice. That. that would be nice. I need that person to push me. When I'm feeling down, like I have been yeah. the past couple months, because it's like yeah, I mean, because we yeah. all get in, we talked about this, um, you know, on our own, and it's like everybody gets in creative lulls. Liz and I talk about this all the time. She yeah. gets in, she'll have a creative lull, and then she'll find something that she loves, and you know, it, it brings the passion back. And I, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely the same way. And speaking of Liz, shout out and shirt, shout out to oh, her yeah. because I see you're wearing one of her shirts. I am. Yes, she gave me this, and I was a model for her. BT took my photo. I felt really fancy. I didn't know what to do with my hands, it but cool. it was fun. You looked great. You looked great. <laughs> I had so much fun. I just um, Liz is really she's really into clothing design. She she wants to like design some pieces of her own. She just wanted to, she had some like really fun geeky shirt ideas. And, yeah, um, I love the I love gonna, the happy Mac sad Mac. Me too. And she's so. gonna do some really cute um like jackets and different stuff. And she has that new bag that she made. So. I don't know. I'm excited to see um, what her ventures take her. She's always really been into clothing. Like she yeah. loves that. 
She yeah. loves like she has a very very specific style. Yeah, that's I think it's cool. Her right? own, you I know. She's, she's wearing a waffle shirt today. I love that. Sorry. I know. I saw. That. Yeah, it's like, dude, I just love her. I, uh, and pretzel socks. <laughs> I love that. I love that she's started up this. Uh, what's the website? System um, Error Shop. S- system the Error system Shop. Dot yeah. Error, yeah, dot yeah. Error dot shop. And it's yeah. so cool. And she just did a little um, charity fundraiser for the Children's Hospital and gave her proceeds for the orange shirt to that, which was really freaking cool. Yeah. Yeah. I saw She's been wanting to do something like that for a while. So, yeah, no, that's cool. It's, I didn't know that she had that in the work. So when she started posting yeah. about it, I was like, this is awesome. This is like so cool. Plus, I'm, a, I'm like an old school Mac guy too. So, you know, she comes oh, out that's with cute. that shirt. So I still need to order one. I, I'm going to get one. I just haven't ordered it yet. So. Yeah, and they were on oh, yeah. sale. They might be on sale right now, but she was having a sale. They all. It's so funny because she. Um, we've talked. We talked about this with Alicia, but a lot of our friends have kind of like migrated to specific channels within our creative community. And like Liz, she did cosplay. She did a lot of really cool stuff in cosplay, but cosplay hasn't really been driving her. Yeah. she's wanted to like have a creative outlet, but have it be like full control. Control her her own ideas, her own interests, and um, you know, creating clothing and stuff like that is kind of I think what's what's drawing yeah, and her. Yeah, that's in. and that's the thing that she's kind of found for her niche. Yeah. So yeah, I hope it, I hope it works out for her. I'm excited. I'm excited to see like some of her own like creation things she's got coming and just, you know, how she expands it. So yeah, it's gonna yeah be that'll cute. be cool. It'll be cool to see that grow. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll do well. So cause look at like the companies like her universe and, um, other ones I can't think of right now. Yeah. But there's been several their own cute clo- Yeah. And it's yeah. like, that's, it's done really well for those girls and they're passionate about it. Pin up girl clothing. That's one. Um, and they use a lot of like our friends as models and Kit Quinn as models. Yeah. yeah so it's, yeah. it's really cool to see like, oh, Castle Corsetry. That's an mm. amazing company that has done that. Lauren, the owner of that, um, she's done, you know, created this really cool thing for herself. She's really well known for her corsets. So I don't know. I mean, I'm interested to see where it goes. I don't have that passion for clothing because I don't think I make very good clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I like, oh, it, the insides would look terrible of all the clothes I sold. <laughs> that's funny. So, I actually I have some. I actually have a few T-shirt designs I want to do, but I don't really want to design them myself. You know. Yeah, um, I have a couple T-shirts I'm getting printed for lols. Yeah, I got. Yeah, um, I'm yeah. getting like a a shirt made that says like, um, I asked Stephen for his logo. Yeah. I was like, can I have your logo for reasons? Like, he's S- like okay. Like Stephen, as in S K S. Yeah, S K S props. Yeah. So I'm gonna get um. Uh, I tried cosplay once and I hated it. S K S oh. props. A quote made because he has his own shirt gotcha. of it and i'm yeah. gonna get a shirt with him as yeah, a quote yeah. you're gonna you know? do like the reverse of it kind of yeah, yeah i just yeah, i yeah. like i want some like shop shirts because mainly i have destroyed so many items of clothing from yeah. the shop oh yeah I'm over everything so becomes a shop, shop shirt, shirt at some point yeah too many things are becoming shop shirts but, i was really disappointed when i packed for blizzcon that everything had like a stuff something on it somewhere i was like no we need shop clothes now. And speaking of that, uh, another clever one that just I just saw was: um, do, do you follow Jex? Probably. J E C J E C T S D J. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he so so he and his girlfriend Celeste, they just came out with a new shirt, and it's great. And it I didn't see it. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's con crunch, but. It looks like an old school like uh, cereal box. Oh my gosh, that's cute! Right? <laughs> I like that. That's so cute. That's super cute. I want and one so, of those too. And so it's got all the little marshmallow things, but it's like you know the Wagner uh, uh, thing and the oh, the that's blue, so the cute. You know, it's, so it's sort of like Lucky Charms, but it's yeah. Oh but it's, my gosh, that's super cute. It, it's a great idea, right? And Celeste, it's an excellent she, idea. And Celeste is a, a really good illustrator, so she did all of the design on it. And I think you can get it on her website. I can't remember. But if you go to Jex on Instagram, it, it links. Yeah, I will. To, I'll look them up. It, it, oh, that's such a cute idea. It, it link if you want to get your your con crunch. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I, I always that just like, really that, funny. I like that. That is clever. I I, lo- I I am a person that I, I love a little clever joke. You know. So. Yeah, and I like the illustrate. Like instead of just wording, I really like a picture. Yeah, you know, like a really yeah, cool exactly. illustration or something. Exactly. That's cute. That's so what I was like, that is clever. And if you know DJ at all. He is like the king of the con crunch. I think uh, he, I think he went four, almost five days before BlizzCon without sleep. No, that's yeah. terrible. I could not I do know, that. I know, I know. Maybe so. when I was younger, but now in my old age, I just can't. I can't so. even force myself to like I used to be able to. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I, you wait till you hit your forties, then then you'll just be like, eh. <laughs> yeah, it's like 
I don't want to be dead the next day because then you have to deal with people and you're like not having it. That's the thing for me. It's like with at at my age, not that I'm super old, but I'm old enough that it's like, it's the recovery that hurts. It's like, yeah, I can, it's like, I can stay up late. That's not a problem. I mean, it it sucks, but I can do it. But, um, but when I do, I pay for it the next day and like two or three days afterwards. So mine is like, I, um, I could stay up. I I used to game and stay up for 20. I rated literally. Yeah. I was awake and leveled. Well, no, I actually not I not rated. My friend Adam that I that I got to do the Overwatch thing with yeah. at BlizzCon. Oddly enough, we got server first monks together, wow. and we played for like twenty two straight hours, <laughs> and it was a nightmare. Like it's such a weird thing how it's come full circle. And now he, he was playing competitive Overwatch, and I yeah was yeah working for Blizzard. And yeah, it was like you such guys a, are both a like cool thing to come together. Like yeah, come out and come back, and it's like boom, so, you have like this. Yeah, and so I I've stayed. I, I didn't mind it back then, and it's like now not a chance, dude, because. I can't deal with a messed up sleep schedule because I have to be awake during the day to deal with humans, yeah, you know? Yeah. So if I'm like, if I went to bed at nine in the morning and, you know, and then wake up at nine at night and also it kind of makes me like, kind of makes me sad a little bit. Like I get kind of like this weird, like a sim, you know, like a, like I'm like, ooh, awkward because I've slept all day and then I'm <laughs> up all night and nobody's awake with me. And I'm like, what is yeah. this world happening? Yeah, you're like, you're like, is the rest of the world actually here or am I imagining this? <laughs> I know it's so funny because now that we talked about this a little bit, but now that Jill's here, um, Jill's here and, um, she is on a weird sleep schedule. She hasn't fully adjusted and winter's here and she's not like, um, I don't know if this is the same way for a lot of other prop makers out there, but December's kind of a slow month. I don't get a lot of requests. I don't get a lot of questions. Like it's next year that like that Well, earlier this year, for example, in the beginning of the year, through like May or when all the like the commissions or the yeah. maybe work for this or con requests that all happens in December, nothing. December's yeah. like silent for me. Yeah. And I know a lot of other people say that too. They're like, December's a dead month because people aren't preparing for cons. They're doing their end of year stuff. Yeah. Everybody's and like the budget just... is in January and stuff. So there's no companies reaching out to you really. Um, or for me. And, and, um, so Jill and I are just kind of in limbo and she just got here and she's, you know, still settling in, but she's on a weird sleep schedule. So I'll be in here in the shop all day and, I don't see her until because yeah. she's. I leave the shop when she's like getting ready to come and hang out in the shop, and I'm like, "Well, I'm done for the day. I'll see you tomorrow." <laughs> you guys are like the uh, the old Looney Tune cartoon with uh, the sheep dogs, right? Frank. Oh, I don't know what that is. Remember that one? No, I don't. There's, a, there's I the sheep dogs, and they, they just like there's, there's like the sheep dog, and he like sits there and he watches over the sheep all day, and then they 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 change shift, and the other sheep dog comes in, and they pass each other, and one says Frank and the other one says Ralph and they just kind of go on their way. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll have to look that up. I don't remember. I didn't watch a lot of Looney Tunes though. Oddly yeah. enough. Well, we used to watch them all the time because my dad, <laughs> when I, when I was a kid, I, I liked them. Okay. But my dad loved them. So we always watched Looney Tunes when they were on. That's so. funny that your dad loved them. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Right. I know. I feel like I'm going to be that parent that likes always, to watch cartoons and stuff. I always thought they were as a kid. I don't know. I, I didn't get the humor because the humor is really more, in some ways dry in a way, mm-hmm. you know, some of it, I mean, some of it's like really slapsticky, but some of it's also a little more almost, I want to say adult humor, but not in the way of like, yeah, not the, that, like, not like that. tradition, like what you think of adult humor nowadays. It's just more like, it's, it's just on a more of a level that adults understand because it's yeah. more, it, it's like interactive humor that kids don't really pay attention to or something because as a kid, you don't really know the subtleties of people's personalities or things or something. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't pick up on sarcasm as well either. Yeah, exactly. Or at all, you know. Or, yeah. You know, everything's, everything's more literal when you're a kid or whatever. Yeah, it is. Because I talk to kids like uh, like they're adults sometimes and they don't yeah. get what I'm saying at all. Like um, with somebody in Matt's family, Cortland, I would talk to him just like just like an adult. Yeah. And um, like he would tell me something. And I'm like, no, but that's not a thing. Like this is a thing and this is how they exist and this is how they're made. And he's like, yeah. what? <laughs> why, why are you telling me this? Like he's just like, I'm not interested in what you're saying at all. And I'm like, well – I'm trying to exercise your brain, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you an education here. So Yeah. But he's like, this is just boring. This is a toy. Why are you explaining this to me? I don't want to know how it's made or where it's from. <laughs> so ridiculous. That's funny. But um, yeah, I don't know. So you, you've you been doing a lot of 3D printing lately? Like yeah. About uh, Alicia. Yeah, I, I, yeah we, we, we did talk quite a bit about 3D. Well, I mean, obviously so because Alicia mostly 3D prints stuff now, but um, yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of 3d printing. So even um, Christmas decorations, which is something I really need to do. Yeah. I want to so, print some Christmas <laughs> stuff. So I have to tell you this. So on our, just our last episode, 
which was uh, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> uh, we're filming, because we're, we're uh, recording these back to back, right? I right. said, hey, I've never had a print fail. Um, I've only had one print fail, and it's because the thing fell off the. Th- yeah. So, so the whole time we were recording with Alicia, my printer's been going, and guess what I found when I. Spaghetti? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What were you printing that failed? It was a little uh, deer thing you said? Yeah. Yeah. It was like a, a deer, but it, um, you're supposed to be able to print it without supports. And I think what happened was, I think the back legs, I think one of the legs fell off. So oh, I, that I, makes sense, I, yeah. I added like um, a brim to it, but I only added like five lines. I think it needed more like, 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, have a pretty I, I think it needed more like 10 or 15. Cause it it's, cause it's, gets about, I don't know. It's about three inches tall and really thin until it bridges with the back, the back hind. Yeah. The really thin, like itty bitty tiny legs and stuff that they're always tricky for me too. I have to like do it. I have to overkill it. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's why I was, uh, I'm sure that, I mean, it's not really the, again, not really the printer's fault, but I just thought it was, but I just thought it was really funny that I was like, Hey, yeah, this you know, hasn't been a problem. I walk in there and there's a big old mess of spaghetti waiting for, cause I'm thinking, Hey, you know, cause it's like an eight hour print. So I was like, Hey, you know, this thing should be half done. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, I went in and no. checked on my skull and it is like half done or it's like 75% done actually. Yeah. Um, and I was like, please don't fail. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Cause it looks so good. It's like, oh, <laughs> knock on wood, man. It is like, if it fails, I'm going to flip the file upside down, print it from the right side up and glue it together. <laughs> Cut it. I'm not doing that. I am not reprinting the whole thing again. No. Nice. And I've done that before. I flipped upside down. I don't care. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Whatever. Um, actually now that I know how to cut the file up, I could sort of cut it closer. So that might work. But anyways, um, it's uh, I should have cut this into smaller pieces. I don't know why I just cut it into two. It's like two giant pieces. Is it really? Whatever. Yeah, it's huge. They're like, I mean, the thing itself is like this big or something. It's like a big old skull. What? What? So like cut- what? What is it from? It's um. So uh, it's the black black hand from the Warcraft movie. He has like two raptor skull um, okay, cauldrons gotcha. with the yeah. bones that hang. Yeah. And I wanted to do like if Garona hadn't killed King Lane, but killed black hand instead and became the war chief herself hmm. so it was like an alternate reality of, of a blizzard thing so cool. and anybody that when you kill a war chief you take something from them and so like i thought it'd be cool if she took his shoulder armor just because those are so cool in the movie like people you know, there's certain things about the movie that obviously i like the way they look in the game more but those shoulders were so cool i just want giant spines on my on my shoulders just like flailing about they're just so neat looking. Well, who wouldn't, right? I mean, come on. Yeah, I, it's like cool. I've never made anything like that, and I and I love the look of it. It's like so so, just different. So I'm excited to make that, and um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's like a fun little slow project because I was gonna do it for BlizzCon, but we didn't have the design finished in time, and so I'll probably do it for something cool this year. Did um, how did what what model are you using for it? Is it oh, Jill made a model. Jill did the model for you. Yeah, I yeah. gave Jill the um, picture that Zach gave me, and she mo- she designed. Oh, it. that's right, because Zach helped you do the design on her. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's beautiful. It's a, yeah. she oh, I bet the it model. is. Yeah, the model that she made it looks just like it, and it's got so it's got all the little cracks and details too. And I'm like, man, this yeah. is awesome. So I'm gonna make one, clean it up, and mold it so I can have two because yeah, I'm yeah. certainly not printing two. <laughs> no, because then you have to clean up two. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and I don't mind molding it. It's a cool thing too. So so much easier to clean up one and mold it. Yeah, that's I'm doing a mercy staff and I've I'm cleaning up like she has three of the wing things and three of these little like snap slider things that go around the barrel and I'm cleaning up one and yeah. printing them and, and molding and them. Molding the rest, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, just I, can't I, stand I, like I only want to have to do that one time. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that. So I really as much as I like 3D printing and you know w- will eventually integrate it into um prop projects once I decide what my next projects are going to be. Yeah. Um, I, I really dislike cleaning up prints. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's just, it can, it gets a little overwhelming. If, especially if something prints like so stupid and squiggly, that just rages me. Yeah. So then I'm like, uh, but I've been using my hot tool to kind of like smooth out some of the bad spots. So, but now my prints, as I've gotten better with my printer, my prints are better. But in the beginning, I have stuff I printed a year ago and I just was fine with bad prints. The modern me now would not, I'd be like, nope, I'm reprinting this. Oh, gotcha. But for some reason I kept those and like, oh, it's ridiculous. So I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh, a lot of our people, that, a lot of our uh, followers that listen have bought, I've had a lot of pattern purchases and I'm very grateful for that. It's really awesome to see people, um, that like want to create the stuff that I make. Cause I made patterns of stuff I love and I was like, I don't know if anybody wants to make these things. And it looks like people do. And I'm really excited because um, a couple people that have made stuff have tagged me 
And so I've been able to see their progress. And it's like really cool to see that it works, even though I know it works because I make a pattern. I have to like make the thing, then make the pattern. And then I also test my pattern because I've been making tutorials, which is something I'm, I'm coming up with soon. I'm, every single phone pattern I have, I'm making a tutorial of. Just a quick one. It's not going to be like, you know, 45 minutes, but it's going to yeah. be, it's going to show you ha- what to do just because I don't want, even though I've written instructions, I want people to have kind of an idea of, um, it, I want a, even a beginner to be able to jump into these things. And, um, but I'm excited to see p- things that people have already created. And like a couple people have messaged me and they're like, Hey Jackie, just want to let you know, there's this one little thing that's missing on it. And I can't believe like I test the pattern and then I don't even notice that I labeled something wrong. Yeah. Like I had one thing that was like d- double labeled and it's, it's nice to get feedback cause then I can fix it and hopefully, you know, it doesn't mess up other people, but, um, it's simple things that when you're testing a pattern, like I wrote for my Alex Raza horns cut two on everything. No, it was cut four until oh, I yeah. sat down and made the pattern myself uh, or tested it. I was like, what? What was I thinking? This one makes one horn. <laughs> so I had to edit that. But in my mind, that made sense when I was putting it in the an Inkscape. But it, it, like I'm finding things as I'm testing stuff. But it's been um it's been a really fun thing. And I also for all of my um my um kits that have or all of my patterns that have gems, I've ma- Jill 3D modeled me perfect gems that fit in my patterns. Like I sent her my patterns, and there's a template for all the gems. And she modeled the gym that fits perfectly in my pattern. And I've printed them and cleaned them up and I'm molding them so I can sell gym kits to go with the pieces. Oh, that's cool. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, I, just thought, I kind of, I love this, like how everybody's kind of finding themselves in cosplay. Like I love dressing up and making costumes, but yeah. I love helping other people get dressed up. Yeah, no, that's, I, I love that. Well, that's cool. It's, it's so fun. So I'm excited. To, I want to have a variety of pre-made kit things. I actually have Sylvanas' skulls that would be available for the shoulders. People struggle. Like they're like, oh, I made the shoulder, but I don't know how to make the skull. Well, I'll be, I'm going to sell small kits of the skulls if, to people that just maybe want to make a costume and don't have, you know, not everybody has the hours that I have and, you know, or maybe they have a daughter they want to make it for and they don't know how to make it, but their kid really wants the costume. And they're, so they're like, oh, I don't know. Well, luckily they can buy it. So, yeah, no, I, I like how you're, I like how you found like this kind of interesting. Uh, it, it's almost like um, costume kits in a way. Yeah, right? that's exactly like it's right? really cool. I mean, because a lot of people, I mean, not a lot, but there's quite a few prop makers that do prop <laughs> kits, right? And you've, yeah. you've kind of morphed that into, you know, patterning and even parts where it's kind of like some of the maybe harder things that yeah would be, that would be difficult for a, 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 a somebody new to costuming to really yeah. want to take on and be like oh yeah i may be able to do this project but i don't know about this one thing and, exactly and, yeah and, and it's like there's always like those kind of things and and there's some people like us we kind of look at them and go hey that's a challenge i'm going to figure that out exactly and, and, yeah. and i want to make that but i also think there's always like a certain type of person out there that it's like they look at that and it's just too daunting Right. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I want to do this thing, but because of this one thing, I'm just never going to do it. Yeah. Be- because that, because good. that, because that one thing is just a little too out, too out much. of their, out of their realm of, uh, what they want to tackle. And, and it's yeah, like, and I, and I feel like what you've done is like looked at that and said, Hey, what if you could do part of it? Yeah. But then the other part of it's kind of ready to go for you. You know. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It like kickstarts you. I, when people ask me like where to get started and stuff, I say, what, make one thing from start to finish of that costume. And then that, like, I know that sounds weird because us as costume makers, a lot of times we'll make it all at the same um, stages. Yeah. But if you're a beginner and you don't even know if you can make one piece, make one piece all the way through. Yeah. Look I, at that. And it exactly. may inspire you and drive you to do the rest. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell it people you that all the time too. Same thing. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's like, is, is there anything on the feet? Yeah. Okay, well, make that boot or that shoe armor or whatever. Yeah. And, and figure out if you can make it. And if you can make that one thing and it looks okay, then move from there. And if it doesn't look okay and you still want to use it, nobody cares because nobody looks at your feet anyway. That's a great point. <laughs> Start with the feet. That's such a good point. Or even like anything on the legs too. Because yeah, like, yeah. people are going to see you a lot more up top. So if exactly. you can make the mistakes and learn, learn on the lower pieces. Yeah, so. learn on all the lower stuff. Well, and then as, and then as you, you know, because that – Pretty much it takes somebody with some, some other skill already built to go look at a costume and go, so I'm going to make a Halo costume. And the first thing I'm going to make is the helmet, 
right? Yeah. I mean, there's, <laughs> yeah. Pro- there's prop makers that all they do is make helmets. And there's a reason yeah. why. Because helmets are hard to make. Yeah, they are, and, yeah. And, and if you know people that make helmets it, and they sell them, it's because a lot of people can't make helmets. And a helmet's a very yeah. difficult thing to do. Um, but it can be done. But if you start at the bottom and you work your way up, by the time you get all that armor up and you get to the helmet, you probably have the skill you need to make the helmet. So exactly. Yeah. It's a good point. It, it yeah. definitely, it's like people need that little kickstart. And so it's, uh, and I, and the weirdest thing is I'm slowly doing all my pieces for Sylvanas and all that Electraza and I have, um, Sylvanas's gauntlets ready to go. So I'm going to post those up, um, maybe even tonight. And it's funny how people do buy the one thing and then they're like, well, if you do the other pieces, I'll, I'll also buy those. And so I keep having like the people that'll, that came back for the, got the shoulders and came back for the breastplate. So I'm sure, you know, and if I have some that will come back for the gauntlets. So that's, you know, it's like, I'm okay. If you need patterns for the whole thing, I'll give you the, you know, I'll make patterns for the whole thing. But it's interesting because I feel like some of those people maybe were like, well, I don't know how to make a costume. And now I, I'm going to be able to have a whole pattern set. So yeah, it's, it's like the people that maybe even aren't stuck on one thing, but just don't know how to do any of it. And they're, they're just like making along with me as the patterns come out. It's yeah, so no, funny. That's, like, yeah, that's cool. It's like, uh, I don't know. Hmm. It's cool. I yeah. love the kit thing though. Like cutting the, the, um, the foam, like I just mailed, I just boxed up an Alex Straza foam horn kit. And as I was cutting it up, because I cut it and I label it and I put it all, I packaged it all up nicely. And I was like, man, this is, this is crazy. Like all they have to do is just glue it and put it together. And then there it is. And it's like, dang. Dang, that is like, I would have killed for that. I would have bought one in the beginning because <laughs> horns are so freaking hard. I mean, I actually really, str- I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest. I really didn't do, I struggled making those horns. Like I had to rip them apart, put them back together, rip them apart, put them back together. For some reason, I just kept messing up the stupid base like 50 times and they would not sit on my head right. Wow. Like they would look great all the way, the twist and the size. And I'm like, what yeah. is wrong with me? Why can't I get this? Like, I, I, I don't know what was, it, I just had such a tough time. So when I finally got it done, I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I'm so happy that I've tackled, I tackled something I had never done before. Like, I didn't have a need to make horns, but then I saw the Alex Straza, here's the storm. And I fell in love with it. And I was like, I'm making those horns. So it was, uh, I learned while making the pattern to everybody else. And it was definitely, um, it was a cool little skill set to improve upon. But now I get why people, that's my best selling pattern. Is it's it? Like, it's going nuts. And I think it's because it's adaptable. You could scale it and also use it for other pieces. Like it yeah. doesn't just have to be Alex Straza horns. And I'm like, dang, oh, I yeah, get it, that guys. Makes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I yeah. get why people struggle with horns because yeah. it was hard. And I would buy a horn pattern too. And Ted has a, a, a horn pattern as well. That's like really good for like Maleficent and yeah. um, like a dryad, all kinds of things like that. So it's, um, it's great. I get why people need horn patterns because I need a horn pattern for myself <laughs> now. <laughs> and I have one. But it's um and the boob cup. I was really excited to do a really smooth, really nice breast cup on a female um breastplate that didn't require any heat forming. It was just like a brazier cut kind of thing. And I like it so much. I'm really um this is like the fourth boob cup pattern I've made. Yeah. This one's my favorite. I'm like, really? dang. Yeah. I like nice. it came out it's such a nice shape. It's like the way that people warb um do like the warbler boob domes, this is like that, but you don't need the warbler boob dome. Really? And like, I wish that in the beginning when I was making more blah boobs, I had just, no, I just took the time to figure out how to translate a bra into yeah, foam. Into because foam. it's that simple, but it was, uh, it wasn't simple to me in the beginning. Yeah. It was hard <laughs> and now it's coming around. So yeah, patterning is definitely a tricky part, but I love it so much. I love the kits. I'm obsessed with the kits and I'm, I'm I have so many cool ideas of kits to come. Like I'm just cranking out kit ideas and it's, um, it's just a cool thing like I, to give someone a kit too. Like, Hey, here's, I heard you want a cosplay. Here's a cute little packaged kit for Christmas. That's like a character that you can create. Like, oh, that's cool. man, I wish my parents would buy me that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I, cool. I like, so. I like the idea behind it. So yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> and you're having fun making them. I am. Yeah. And I'm, I just bought a male, um, a male mannequin. Cause I'm gonna do some guy ones too. I'm yeah. pretty stoked about that, but I have to say, uh, uh, there's like uh, people always ask me where to get dress forms and mannequins that are like normal sizes because the, they're always wrong. Well, if you know of where to get a guy one that's a normal size, someone tell me because I went down this rabbit hole. They are not, men are not that size. Mm. I don't know a man that's this size. It is so scrawny itty bitty. It's they like, say they're like really thin, right? Yeah. Too thin. And yeah. I don't, 
I swear that like it's it's like a 15 year old boy or something and I need a <laughs> it man. It probably that, is. It probably is. I'm going to have to pat him up and that's well, so annoying because you got a man I, in I, your I, house, like, make a duct tape dummy of him. <laughs> yeah, he'd be, no, he'd be like, get out of here. Um, <laughs> but it's, uh, I, I could maybe make one of my brothers. See, I modified Ted's patterns for my brother for the Care Bear stuff and that worked pretty well but I need to make my own pattern. You know, that's Ted's patterns. And that's yeah, Ted's exactly. Style. You, can't, you don't so, want to go off of it. Yeah. No. And I want to do something different and, and I want to try to make a male pattern that looks good. And yeah. I think it's going to be challenging, but I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. I also really like want to try to make a, an ab pattern, a man ab pattern. You know how like that's a popular thing that people do with like heat forming. Oh yeah. Like the reverse form. Yeah. Kind of I want to like try to, to make it for like the fun. bat, like the Batman ab kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Like that. But it, it obviously I just, look for me, like I just lay it on here and just heat it up and it's just, yeah, it, me too, solid. man. Yeah. Oh yeah. So easy. Yeah. I'm flexing it's right like, now. So hard. it's like instant 12 pack. <laughs> yeah. 12 pack of beer, right? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so if cool. you want, I could send you one of mine. If you, Yeah. If you, I'll help you out. <laughs> I'll help you out. You know, you're so funny. You're I, mean, I mean, we're friends, so I, I'm okay with sharing that with you. Okay, cool. So, well, that, I'm really excited. That's yeah. going to help me. So I'll add that to my mannequin. You, you can even sell them as core geek abs. <laughs> I love that. I'm, oh my I'm God. serious. You put, put my name on there. It's oh yeah. Hot ticket. I know. Golden. Golden. I'm telling you. <laughs> Literally golden. I, I only want eh, 35%. That's all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, wow. Okay. Well, you're not even going to, you're not even going to try to get down on me on that. Like, no, it's worth it. You know, I know how, I know the quality of those abs are probably wow. like next level. You're okay. Yeah. I, you're I worth every bit. You know, I negotiated wrong. I should have started higher. You did. I, I, yeah. Oh, you should have, you should have come in higher. I thought so, you were going to say 50, 50. That's like the first rule right there. Right. You always start wow, higher. And, yeah. Well, shoot. Hmm. We're so ridiculous. People are like, what are they talking <laughs> about? Stop it. <laughs> It's so crazy, but yeah. So, um, another fun thing is, um, Eric and I both 3d printed a leg lamp without even talking about it. Which <laughs> this is, is true. Ridiculous. Yes, this is true. I cannot believe yeah. that I chose a wooden maker leg lamp and Eric went the traditional Christmas story, but I can't believe that we did that. Like, I can't believe that we both did the same thing without talking about it. It's and like, so funny. I think it might even been the same day. <laughs> well, yeah, I was working on the wire. The, um, I just got my lamp parts yeah. yesterday yeah. and I was like, what the heck? How is this possible? Like Eric's <laughs> literally doing the same thing. It was so cute. And um, I posted mine and um, it, Overwatch and Blitter. 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 Overwatch <laughs> and Blizzard both liked it and shared it. It's that's my cool. only Twitter thing that's ever done well. Yeah. Twitter's whatever. But it's it got always, shared on so much. It was such a the, goofy thing. Well, that's the thing. It's it's always the thing that you think nothing about, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, that, oh this is fun. Oh, this is fun or funny or whatever. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to post this. And it's the thing that goes wild. I can't yeah. believe it. I was like, yeah. oh, I saw, I started clicking on all the people that like shared it and retweeted it. And it was yeah. like senior game designer at Blizzard. I was like, oh yeah. my gosh. Like, like, what? what? <laughs> you guys like this. It's amazing. I mean, I, it was so goofy. And the funny thing is some of the comments were hilarious. Um, on the retweet, there was like, um, one that said, um, it's fragile. It must be Italian. No. Or, and then they were like, LOL, it's French or French. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's from France. Because she's from like, French. Oh, yeah. Cute. Yeah. It makes so much sense. But I love all the Christmas story jokes that people are posting with it. It's really yeah. funny. Yeah. The, it's such a, that got, leg lamp is such a fun thing. The one for mine, if anybody's interested in printing it, you can just get, if you just search Christmas story or leg lamp on Thingiverse, you can find the file. So I'm gonna, and it's a great file too. I mean, it I want that really, lampshade. Really nice. I got an actual lampshade, which yeah. is like a miniature one for a sconce or whatever sconce or it's something light thingy. The shade, um, the shade I used was a remix of whoever did the original. Cause, okay. cause the original one that's on Thingiverse. I like the shade. The, the original one on Thingiverse is the shade for it is made. It has a flat bottom and it, and it has a hole in the back. So you can put a tea light inside of it, like a electronic oh, tea light, you know? Yeah. And, but I want to, I'm going to actually put led strip lights in mine. And so okay. there was a, there was a remix on Thingiverse. If, if you look at leg lamp, you'll find the remix of the shade that I used, which it looks, it's pretty sick. Like I mean, the one in the movie is like actually, you know, smooth. It has smooth curves. This one has like segments, which is fine. It's close enough. So yeah, I want to add like some cute little fringe or something to mine. Like yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to try to like, I'm going to, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I'm going to paint it up. I'm going to paint it up yeah. to look, to look like the thing. And then probably, I don't know what I'm going to use for the fringe. Cause I, I don't know, but cause the one, cause the one act from the movie actually has like a black fringe on it. So I'm going to put a fringe on yeah. it. Um, you can I, get a fringe though, like at a, at a craft. Yeah, that's true. Fringe. That's true. I and should just probably go to, I'm going to look and see if I can go find a small enough fringe, find a fringe for it. And, 
yeah. I'm going to paint it up and light it. It's I printed it fairly large. It's like the leg itself is 10 inches tall. And oh, then, mine's not that tall. Mine's super. I should have printed mine then, a little taller. I'm sad well, I didn't. I did a test first because you know it's like the like it's it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty thin, right? There's not a lot yeah. of base on it, and it's fairly tall. And I did like a like a four inch test of it first just to see <laughs> just to see if my printer would you know it's like I feel like I got my printer dialed in pretty well. Um, yeah, and I wanted to see how it would look if I you know so I did that and I was like okay it looks great. And then I scaled it up to like 10 inches tall, but with the shade, it's, that's probably another six inches. So it's pretty, it's pretty high. It's pretty big, which is pretty Mine cool, needs so. to be like uh, three inches taller to compensate for the shade size. That's oh, why yeah. I need, I either need a smaller shade or a or, larger leg, or, but or this was like it. a prototype. I'm going to mold it and I want a larger one just cause I want to give them away as gifts. I oh, thought yeah, that'd be a like cool. really fun thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're just, they're so goofy. I have to also make a larger base. That was just a temporary base. Um, yeah. but I was nervous about the print failing because it was just like this tall, skinny leg and i was like oh gosh so i did like a yeah, giant for mine. um brim yeah i was yeah. like stay on the bed please it was just so nerve-wracking but it's so cute it's just such a fun little thing that is i don't know just brought me so much joy to make that stupid thing <laughs> well that movie that movie from like my immediate family we just my daughters and my and i and my wife we absolutely love that movie we that we so funny. we like we quote it like not just around christmas time we quote it like all year long, it's just like this running joke for us. So as soon as oh my gosh, um, I, I procrast. I have to shout out to Procrastination Props. Uh, he was the one that printed it first, and I saw him post. It. I'm like, I have to make that. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, have, I so, do I not follow him? Let me see. I don't. Know, I can't believe I missed the leg lamp. Props. Yeah. Um, Procrastination Props. I'm gonna look him up right now. And that is uh, so, can you believe another person point? Like, what is up with us and our leg lamps? You guys, we're freaking crazy. <laughs> So, uh, and so I saw him post and I was like, okay, I have to print that, you know, that's the next thing I'm printing. So, and oh my gosh. Out. Yeah, he did. Oh my gosh. He made a freaking leg lamp. I can't even yeah. believe this. How cool is this? This is amazing. Oh, and he's got like, dude, that, is, oh, so that's the shade that you used to. He added fringe. Yeah. I, I can't remember if that's the same shade or not. There's a couple different shades, but I liked the shape of the one that I printed the most. So I don't know if it's the same one he used or not. He's an, he's, he does quite a bit of 3d modeling and printing too, though. So he's legit good work. So Dude, he's one of the prop, he's one of the prop tarts. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I recognize like just clicking on his work. I've, I've seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm looking forward to just kind of paint. I'm probably going to do that today. I'm going to paint it up and wire it up. And so just having some, yeah, fun I have it. to put a hole all the way. I created a spot for a switch yeah. and was going to use a different light setup. And now I have to like put a hole. I have to run it through the bottom in order to hide oh, the yeah. cord. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah. Getting inside of 3d prints is kind of weird. So no, I should have had Jill like put a, or now that I know I could have put yeah. like a, a hollow in the a inside. In I should have done that. But at the base it's thick and it's like, I'd have to yeah, the base of mine doesn't have, I mean, I printed the leg hollow, but the base I printed with infill because I wanted it to be heavier. Same so, here. So I well, my like to, bot ankle down is full. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I don't the, know. I another, also don't want to break it. Another thing I've been working on uh, um, Christmas wise with 3D printing is, have you seen anybody that's printed litho panes? Do you know what a litho pane no. is? Uh-uh, what is it? Um, so you you can take a picture and you upload it to this website. I'm going to have to find the website now because I'm mentioning it. Um, hmm. What is it? Is it like a, um, like a, your face in a print or something? Yeah. It, it can convert any photo into a print basically. Oh, what? It, yeah. So now, but it's, now you need to tell me the site cause I'm about to go get some uh, print right now. Okay. So Cool. So go to. Oh my gosh, it's, you just gave me such a cool idea. Okay, so it's it's uh, 3dp dot rocks, and then lithium. 3dp dot uh, rocks. <laughs> yeah. 3dp dot rocks. And then oh, and I then see it. Forward slash lithopain, and then that's the you upload to that <laughs> site. You upload your photo to there. Okay. Oh, that's so freaking cool. I'm definitely going to do that. That's super cute. And then, um, and so it, it, it turns your photo into it basically, a. it's almost like a topographical map, right? Yeah. On it, on its side. So you, so when you do the print, you want to do them on the side and you want to do it like in an angle. It, it, 
it fits better on the printer if you situate it in your in right. your um in your slicer at an angle. Um, okay. And then the only setting you really have to mess with on the website is under settings, image settings. You have mm-hmm. to change it to a positive image. It's the very first setting. Okay. Because Mine's it's still because it's set to negative image and it'll basically look like a negative, you know, like a photo oh, negative. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. If oh, you don't, okay. if you oh don't switch it to positive. Have so, you printed any yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, Do you I've, have one? What's that? Do you have one that I could see? Yeah, let me go grab it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What is wrong with my internet? Of course my internet's out. You know, that charter life. Eric left me by myself. This is ridiculous. What am I doing? I'm just hanging out. Filing my nails, guys. You guys having a good time? You want to hear some nail files? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sand in something that's not a prop. <laughs> Eric comes back. He's like, who is she talking to? <laughs> I, was just talk- I was just entertaining myself. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I've been doing these ones. Um, it's going to be really hard to... Oh, there we go. So you can kind of see how it looks without... Ooh. That, that, it's a photo of my daughters, right? Yeah, that's super cute. Oh okay, my gosh! Okay, but wait, but wait when I light when I light it up because <gasps> I, I I came up with this little strip board. I've been working yes. on the electronics on it. It's just nine volt uh, oh my gosh. source. I, so so this goes behind there. I'm gonna make a little thing for the top, and then I'm gonna make some stands for these that the battery um, the battery sits in, and then it looks like come on. Eh, camera won't focus on it. It's not gonna focus. Ah! It's too you bright. To, you got to take a picture for me because that Hold seems on. amazing. Hold on. It looks really cool. I wish I could make it work. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I almost saw it. Oh, I almost saw it. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Come on, show me. Oh, it wants to show me, but it won't. It's not going to Oh, it. we're, I, you got to put the picture now. That is so freaking cool. I can't believe that. It, 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 the, qual- the, the quality of it is just crazy. Oh wait, maybe oh, if I I'm do this. I'm so excited. Man, it's just too bright. The LEDs are too I'm going to do some really funny stuff actually. <laughs> that seems like a super cute idea. That's a great gift idea too. And it's something that you can do yourself. Like it's homemade and you know, just really sweet. I like the Yeah, like so my like family's going to get a lot of 3D printed stuff for Christmas this year. <laughs> <laughs> I should make my family a lot of 3D printed stuff because, you know, ancestry kits and all. <laughs> of course, now that I'm thinking about it, my mom might be watching this episode before Christmas. So she knows, Hi, what, she's, mom. She oh, knows no. what she's getting for Christmas now. <laughs> I'm going to get a trade Jackie for one of those ancestry kits because yeah. that's what I want. <laughs> but you can't tell because just without the lighting behind it, it just kind of looks weird, you know? I mean... But with, no, with the light, really- I mean, it looks when when the light's right and you look through it, it looks like a quality black and white photo. It's the it's just crazy how cool they look. So, dude, that is so freaking cool. I'm really excited to make one. That's that's like something I never would have thought of. I would I, never uh, me either. How did you just, even think of it? Well, um, I found out about them because of the CR10 Facebook group I'm part of. A bunch wow, of people, people were printing them there. Well, a bunch of people, you know, because people just print stuff and then they. And then they sh- they share it on the the group. I gotta join you know. that group. Yeah, sh- yeah. Even if you don't have a CRT, learn. join the group because you yeah, know, it's it's a really great uh, for learning because people will be like, you know, kind of like what Steven Solo Roboto has been doing. It's like, hey, or yes. I'm, or I mean, I mean, or was it Steven or Eric? Oh no, it's Steven. Um, oh gosh, oh, the compressor scared me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry guys, my compressor just felt like it needed to turn on because so. nobody's using it. We'll wait a few It'll minutes. be done in a minute. It makes this really loud pop noise, so you guys might want to cover your ears. I'll just cut this in about out. three seconds. It makes a pop noise? It's so loud, guys. Ugh. This is the weirdest thing to ever happen in a podcast. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> that happens to me all the time. It scares me so much. Ah, no, nope, Eric not is determined work. to get that light. I to work. am. I want it to work. <laughs> And I'm gonna have to just take a photo. Fo- I'm gonna have to take a photo of it and just like I'll put it over this to. over our faces yeah, so people on the really podcast excited. can see it. So what was I talking about? I don't you know. You were talking about the um, CR10 group. Oh yeah. So a lot of times, you know, if people are having problems, they're like, "Hey, this is the print. This is what it looks like." Anybody have any idea of why it's doing this? You know. And, yes, like and, what Steven's doing, Solo Roboto. That's what yeah, you're just like in a group setting. It's and it's been real. That's really how I've learned the most about the my machine is just by fall by reading like. Every time somebody posts something, even if it's an issue I haven't seen or not, I just read about it. So you Dude, get an idea yeah. of what, you know, because there's like so many knowledgeable people out there that have gotten really great results out of these machines by, by you know, tweaking and tweaking and tweaking. And so 
that's basically what I've been doing is just reading and then trying different settings and stuff. So, but I, that's how I found out. And there's the, so, like, I, it's really useful. That's why I've been, I've been like learning through Steven's journey, even though I haven't had some of those problems. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love reading the rev- the replies. Yeah. Yeah. It's so help. And Jill's printer, like one of her printers, her robo R one plus is like, it has lost its mind. It has <laughs> lost its mind. I don't even know how to troubleshoot it because I'm like, what do I Google? You ever has that ever happened to you before? Like, I'm gonna have to Google the pic. I'm gonna have to put the picture, take a picture, and just be like, hey guys, what is this? Because it is spaghetti everywhere, and there's also a glob of filament that's burnt like this big stuck to the nozzle and the bed. I don't know what she printed. Oh, weird. Um, yeah, it's crazy, and it won't. It just. I I think I don't know how to just I don't know how to explain this, but like from watching it, it looks like it doesn't know how far it is from the print in the bed, the nozzle. Oh, yeah, interesting. Like something like that, and I need to just take a picture and show people and post and like. I try bet to get help. I bet you'll get an answer to that pretty quick. Um, even just uh, you know yeah. to your own Facebook page because there's enough people that work with printers that we know that. Yeah, I'm gonna ask because it is so. it's frustrating because I don't know how, the. Like, it's just an issue I haven't run into yet, so I don't know how to troubleshoot it, because I'm just like, what is this? This looks like a combination of things, and yeah. I don't know. And it, and it could be, too. So, Who knows? So. Yeah, I'm going to post about it and try to get some help, because that printer's just out of commission, because it's just, you know, in it's spaghetti just, land over it's there. It's just sitting there all clogged, huh? It's so bad. Like, <laughs> I told Jill, I was like, you might want to come see this. This looks crazy. <laughs> like, it's insane. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Like, Matt walked in, and he was like, holy crap. <laughs> it's just so much filament, just a blob. Just a blob? So. And it's like burnt all up and stuff. Crazy. I wonder, does it have, does it have the same kind of, uh, does it have a Bowden tube that connects into the hot end? I don't like, know. like the CR10, you know, CR10 has the tube yeah. with the filament. Right? Does it have the I, same type of, you know, I got to look at it closer. I'm not sure. I haven't, she's in, she uses those cause she prints ABS on them. Yeah. So I haven't really been, I haven't cause really I don't know what style it. of print. Cause you know, they all kind of have different styles as far as the way the filaments fed into the hot end. Yeah, exactly. But I know like with the CR 10 every once in a while that, that little tube that the filaments push through won't be stuck in there far enough. And, yeah. and then it leaks at that end. Right. Oh, oh, and yeah. then you get this big blob of filament all around your, oh, does okay. that make sense? Yeah, I wonder if that's and it just melt and it just leaks before it's leaking like before it gets pushed into the hot end, but it still melts. Yeah. But it still melts because it's hitting the the section, the, hot, the top yeah. part of the hot, you know, the top part that starts to melt the hot end. So yeah. or melt in the hot end and then it ends up like encasing it in like so it could be something yeah, like that. But. That sounds like it could be something like that. I'm gonna look into it because that is like maybe that's what it is, because it's crazy. And I hate it's like whenever a printer isn't going, even if like Jill has like a commission that she's working on and it's a physical one. So she's going to be using those and she needs to have it working. And I was like, well, maybe I can figure it out for her because she's been modeling and I yeah. have the time right now. Gotcha. And then I was like, but it's that, it's that thing of like, I don't want to mess with somebody else's printer. Like the CR 10, she told me like go to town with blah, blah, blah. And it's, yeah. it loves me. It's a great printer. We yeah. get along great, gotcha. but I don't want to mess with a robo because it just looks like something that is, it looks like a natural disaster. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll ask the internet. And now, and now all of our listeners are winning. Are they ever? Are they always just going to talk about three D printing? I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, no, I, I mean, like, you know, well, I, we talked about my patterns and other. Fun I know, stuff, I know, I know. Stuff. I just, but yeah, you're right. It's because you guys will understand if you like, get a three D printer. It's like a it's an adult toy. Oh, it gosh. is. It is. I don't mean is. like you know. <laughs> we, we say things like adult jokes and adult toys toys in an innocent way, I, but then yeah, I'm like, exactly. oh crap, yeah, as I've yeah, said it, yeah. you know. Oh. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, just, we'll just skip over that. <laughs> so funny. It's a, it's a grown-up um, yeah, yeah. toy-making we, we, we machine. We will still make things by hand. I, I still will make yeah. things by hand. In, in fact, I, I, have a couple, I have a couple things in mind that I might start working on beginning of the year that are things that I've, I've wanted to do. They're not necessarily props, per se. Yeah. They, they're, they're, they're kind of involve items that are prop like but they're not necessarily props themselves interesting um, what are they that, well i'm not gonna say because i don't want to uh. <laughs> because if i never work on it then people are like hey what about that one thing you said you're gonna make <laughs> that's true that's true people but, are like what happened to thunderbird pharaoh jackie oh but, yeah but my yeah, process for pop. that will be mostly uh, sculpted from clay so so I will be doing some. I, I I do plan on in the in the future not only working on three D printed stuff, but I also plan on working on. Uh, I've said over and over again I enjoy sculpting. I want to do more of it. 
Yeah. I, I'm going to, I'm going to continue down the road of trying to do more sculpture type 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 stuff. So. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I'm planning on it too. I'm still going to do like, I bought all the stuff from um, smooth on to do a, a jaw cast. Yeah. Cause I'm not doing a head. I'm not doing a face cast cause I'm too scared gotcha. and I can do a jaw cast on my or like this down on myself yeah. and I'm going to make a mold and I'm going to do my prosthetic for Farah. Oh, cool. I bought all the yeah. stuff. I, did, I ran out of time for BlizzCon, and I yeah. want to do it. It's like yeah. a fun project that's something I haven't done before. I bought all this really cool metal pigment that I tested in some of the dragon skin, and it oh, looks cool. really cool. Oh, I bet that looks good, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, man, this is actually, this could be really fun. And so I want I just want to do something different like that. It's going to be challenging, I'm sure, for me because I'm not a good sculptor, and I suck at making molds so hard. <laughs> so much suck. Oh, it's the uh. worst. I'm the worst. I'm getting better. Every time I make a mold, it's better and better because I'm like – slow the f down yeah slow your butt yeah. down you have to do it you have right to take your time and be very like very methodical with with mold making exactly and so i thought i could just like jerry bust your, it out yeah yeah and it's every time i've done that it's punched me in the face it's yeah. like <laughs> nope yeah it happens so, yeah and so. so i'm everything i'm doing i'm taking my time on getting better and better i feel like i've improved so much even in the just last couple months of making stuff and so i but the electronics little avenue i've been down has been so rewarding That's and i'm cool. enjoying it's like you know we need the 3d printing thing with something new and different and it's like it's allowing me to test other things because i can just print out you know thingamabobs and doohickeys yeah and play with them. yeah well I, I, and i'm gonna say the other thing that i've kind of been learning about 3d printing is that it's it's really nice to just have a little minion working for you it is, man. You know, it's like, yeah. it, but it's that's just what like, children are for. Uh, it's just like, it's great. I don't have to do all the work. It's like this little minion will, I can go to bed and guess what? This little minion is still working for me. So. There's and like, we have, so there's so many in there now. And like, they're so loud. How many do you that, have in your shop now? Is there well, four? There's four? Four. Yeah. But they're inside of the craft room and they're yeah. loud. Yeah. Yeah. And so we have to like close the door. Gotcha. It's just too much, too much noise. Gotcha. Um, in, in like the the little one didn't bother or the Taz didn't bother me. It's not little, but it didn't bother me before. I didn't mind the sound and yeah. like Habiteer Workshop. Drake he has like nineteen printers. I don't even know. I'm just making that. He has a lot. He has like a, more than ten. I think he has like eight, eight or ten. Oh, or okay, okay. I thought he had like ten or eleven, but um, that's, maybe that's I don't know. Right. Maybe it was more than that. It's crazy to me because that noise must be insane. That room must be so hot and the plastic burning. Oh, yeah. Like I feel I like cover up my face when I go in there like this. I'm gonna start wearing a mask. <laughs> But yeah, uh, but anyways. So, but, and, and speaking of molding, so I have I have sad news. No. What? What is it? You have sad news. Yeah. <laughs> Your reaction to my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why? Why are you reacting like that? <laughs> because if you, because if nobody sad wants news. sad news. I know. I have sad I news. I don't even need to know what it is to know that I don't want you to have sad news. So sad. now tell me your sad it news. It made me very sad because so uh, I, and. Oh, the, no. Yeah, so this is going back to my Wonder Woman sword, which is I knew it about, was going to be Wonder Woman. I knew it was talked about many, many times. Um, I actually, I, I had been, <laughs> I had been telling people because I, I still get a ton of people wanting more of that sword, right? And I was kind of right. done, and I was kind of done with it, but I took like a month away from it, right? And I was like, right, uh, you know, maybe I'll bust out like a run of like five or ten of them, and right, and get them, get them busted out here in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, if people want to get them for Christmas presents or get them, you know, with their Christmas money or whatever, and, you know, and just try to put some more out there because they've, they've yeah. been really, really popular. Yeah. Uh, and I, yeah. I see them pop up all the time and people, I'm like, Oh, somebody so, else with Eric's sword. So I started to do that. I, I poured one last weekend and my mold's dead. It's given up. I can't up. even process that. It's given up. My mold is gone. How many casts did you get out of it? Thirty. Mm, I'm not going to say exactly. I got. Oh, okay. I got, got. I got more than fifty and less than a hundred. So, which is which? The amount that I got out like of it. That's like a lot. For for ten cure for a ten cure mold. I'm oh, very, okay, okay. I'm very, I'm very happy with the amount I got out of it. I just was expecting to get, I was hoping many. to get, I was he hoping to get a little more out of it. I so. just can't imagine sanding and prepping and sending out that, like that is a lot of work. That's factory level work to me. It, it is. And that's why I was, <laughs> and that's why I was burnt out at the end of the summer. Oh, I know what, I mean, like, I didn't know you had done that many. I know you've, yeah. you know, you've been doing a lot, but I had no idea the scope of it. And like, that is so well, much work. The thing is, is not, so 
Not all of them were painted. Not all of them were painted. The majority of them weren't painted. The mold, they came out really clean out of the mold. So that's there's good. very minor cleanup. That you know? never happened. To me. Um, very minor cleanup for the, the non-finished ones. But there was, out of that number, there was about 10 to 12 that were, that were bad. You know, oh, every yeah. once in a while you just have a bad cast. You know? Yeah. And then another 10 of them were, were, I did do, I think I'm on the, the one for smooth on is number 10 for completely fully finished. So I, out of that number, I did <clears throat> 10 in cold cast resin, com- completely painted and all that. So, but I was hoping to put out some more kits out there before Christmas and I can't because I'm not I, taking, that sucks so bad. I, I, I'm, I'm, considering remolding it in you're the gonna remold it yeah, yeah. The, beginning of the year i know i know because there's actually f- uh, several people i've promised them to that oh I can't, yeah i can't get them to now because my mold's dead so uh, just for that alone i'll probably remold it but dude speaking uh, of things that are dead um i molded my farah thunderbird shoulders you know yeah. and they're made out of um free they're made out of um feather light and then onyx onyx on the top and then feather light and then yeah. summer th- yeah they're all onyx i think because that's happened to be what i had um, and dude, the ones that I finished that, you know, bubbled and whatever, yeah, yeah, and they the had to strip back you... down. Well, not only did I strip them back down and they were like, you know, ready to go back to like sanding and starting on them again. I freaking dropped one beak first and oh, shattered the beak into like no. a thousand pieces. Yeah. Onyx. I have never in my life been oh, so mad. God. I was like, that sucks. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm out of this game. I'm done. I'm g- joining the crochet team. <laughs> level crochet team. Because this is not a thing I'm doing again. And I have four, I have four casts of it. Yeah. That, those two were the best ones. And I was legit mad because I'm like, I'm not rotocasting this thing. It's so freaking heavy to cast. Yeah. It's so hard because it's like, it's a giant shoulder. It's I huge. hated casting yeah. it. It was like, it stabbed me. It was heavy. I was mad. I spilt Onyx all on my leg like an idiot. And it's hot. It was so bad. You spill then, onyx on your leg? Oh, I sure did. Ouch. Like, that stuff gets really hot. Yeah, it was bad. And that really, was during really the casting hot. process. I yeah. had a lot of things going wrong with that costume. Yeah, and I know. I know. I was so <laughs> sad. But I learned so much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have come so full circle. But now revisiting it, when I went to strip those things and I dropped it off Matt's thing over there and it fell, I was just like, I've never felt so sick to my stomach in my life. I, But then for some somehow, I, I like got the gumption – in me and I sculpted it back with freeform air. I feel like I literally feel like I was um, outside of my body watching my body do so, it. So, so you repair, you repaired it then? Yeah. You but just, I, I like, I, just, it's like a haze. It's like a dream. So you just like, you were just like, I'm just going to fix this. And you just grab some freeform air and just slap it on there. So and mad. Just... Yeah. I was like, Nope, not letting this beat. This is not beating me today, boys. So I sat down and sculpted it back and I just went upstairs. and I was like, dang, I forgot I did that. <laughs> that, it was the middle of the day. Like I was not tired or anything. I just can't That's believe funny. that. I never would do it now or like, you yeah. know, before or depending on the mood I'm in, most of the time I would just be like, no, like not a chance. I'll touch it when I'm ready to work on the costume again. I'm not even working on the costume, but I just fixed that thing because I could not let it sit there destroyed in front of me. Yeah. Like I was just like, no, not a chance. Not sitting on the shelf looking like that because I'll never fix it. So I, I fixed it. It's like. I and I don't know. I, I put all the effort into repairing it. And now I don't even want to work on it. <laughs> so hard but you repaired it so you don't have to look at it being busted so yeah i thought oh speaking of um that costume i thought about it doing a TwitchCon thing this year like yeah. I, okay i get that like i have done a lot of like professional stuff and there's a big stigma about competing if you've done things like that but it's it is blood sweat and tears and i think anybody should be able to compete if they want to there's no guarantee i'm gonna win because i've made props for companies there's fifty thousand oh, people you better mean, than like, me you mean with TwitchCon, like the yeah. contest yeah but people are kind of weird about um why i don't there's a weird, i don't think they I, are I see a couple people, well it's like i don't know they're, i don't know you know I've they're read some things. Uh, yeah but they can say what they want i mean the thing is it's like it's open to anybody they're that's uh, all i feel in uh, until like it, whatever it, yeah i mean just because you've been paid by companies to make things doesn't mean that you can't it does not make me better than anybody else exactly no, no. like but i um you know i and it would still be hard for me to win. Extremely hard. It's, like looking at people to compete. There's it some be hard easy. competitors in that. In yeah. That contest, and so I thought so. about, um, I was like, you know, maybe I'll finish Farah and compete. You because Farah is so far from finished. It needs so much work, but it's been such a labor of love and it would, it's made out of so many different materials. It could be cool. But then I got to thinking, 
what's the whole reason that I didn't do Farrah for BlizzCon because it's a contro- this Farrah because it's a controversial skin. And there yeah. I'm going to go on if I compete and I wear that and it's TwitchCon and it's the most this you know like that gaming community is hardcore and like it's going to be a big deal and I feel like I don't really I don't really want to be, like I don't want to be bullied for that. I'm you not bullyable. I don't care yeah. really. But I, I also I can see how you would you wouldn't want to like invite I, con- invite controversy. I don't want to invite controversy right. exactly. And I didn't think about it when I picked that skin. I didn't even know back in the day. I just loved it. It was beautiful. At the and same, now that it's become such a stigma, yeah. I thought like and then I thought I could get someone else to wear it. Yeah. And then I thought, well, am I is that going to get are people going to be like I thought like everyone going to no matter what. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There, part of me wants to wants to say, you know what? The heck with it. Make what you want to make. Wear what you want to wear. You know what yeah. I mean? And just it's not go like for I'm going to darken my skin. You no. know, I would never do that. No, I'm not idiot. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I get that. You know, but it, 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 but, but on the other hand, it's e- easy to say, right? Because I'm not the one taking the scrutiny. So yeah, but, I just don't want to. I don't like my name or my brand associated with controversy. So I would just rather try to just avoid it. But it's it's a shame. I have put so much love and so many hours in that costume. It has so many beautiful pieces that it's like, what am I going to do? Am I going to finish it and never wear it? Because no matter where I wear it or when I wear it, if I finish it, it will invite, it, it will be, you know, something will come, somebody will say something, but yeah. on that platform in front of all these people competing in it is a different thing. That's inviting more. If just yeah, taking a picture, just, if just looking with my friends and my community and yeah. you guys listening, you guys will, will be supportive. But if I go to strangers and compete with it, then it's like a big thing. So yeah, I'll wear it for you. See, that's fine. What are they going to say about that? Uh, right. I don't you know, know. Yeah. like white 45 I would totally year old up in it. ginger that's dude. Fine. Wearing and it's not even like it's um it's sex specific. It's such a like yeah, androgynous I, I know, costume. I know it's a thing. It's like I just I just slap it on. I'll wear it. I don't care what people think. That's true. yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and I mean it is the whole thing of like I I definitely am not usually affected by people's feelings. But I just don't want to be I don't want to be a part of it just in case it becomes a big thing. But it's um I'm bummed because I thought TwitchCon would be kind of something cool. It's a great reward as a maker to like. You t- to win a prize like that, yeah, or to no even or to even place and just go to or the to con place. and and be, yeah. part of, and be part of the it's competition. A, it's a huge honor, and yeah. it's something I've been out of for a while. And I thought, like, you know, that could be a, a real treat. But like, Jill also is talking about competing. Oh, really? So I was like, cool. Yeah, and so I was like, oh, well, that would be interesting to be like working beside each other yeah. and competing. And competing. But maybe we could just stream as one thing. We could just That's stream cool. on one platform, and then yeah. she could be working hers, and I'll be making. It. It's kind yeah, of a that, funny. That would be kind of neat, though. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Thing, so. I, I mean, I, I don't mind. Like, I'm not somebody that's like. I say the more the merrier. Everybody compete if you want to compete. It's a fun. Yeah. It's it's a cool well, experience. Well, and as I say, the other thing about our community, which I think is a little different, it's like, yeah, you're all competing, but you're all rooting for each other at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and not, it's so it's hard. It's not like it's not like oh, they're you know that person they're they're the evil person that i don't want to win you know it's like yes it's like you know it, it, but for the most part everybody wants everybody else to do really well you yeah know? It, it's so hard to like pick like when we talked about the blizzcon or i don't know if we talked about it, but i've talked about like the blizzcon winners and stuff it's like dude yeah. how do you choose that oh yeah we did we talked yeah about we did it. yeah like, it's just like the, the zagara and the hogger you just yeah, can't choose you just can't and so you know and that's the same thing with TwitchCon is you just can't choose some of it's really i don't know but then it is, it's like, it's kind of hard as a maker, like the egg sisters to see them compete so much and, you know, not win. It kind of, I, I was like, dang, like, how would you feel? I would feel yeah. terrible. Yeah. Because it's like, they, they know their costume was amazing. We all know it was amazing, but it just, it didn't work out for them. And, and that sucks. I, I know. Yeah. That's. It, and then you go home and it's what like. What do you, you do? Oh, I just like I, I sat back and just thought about it so much like the loser or the, I hate to even say that word in association with these beautiful creations, you know, but when you don't win and you go home and you've invested a lot of money and a lot of time and you really thought you had a chance. Yeah. I mean, they're not egotistical. I'm not saying they thought they had a chance, but I thought they had oh, a chance. And then, they absolutely had a chance. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is, it's like, especially BlizzCon, and we've talked about this before, yeah. pretty much everybody that's part of the BlizzCon contest has a chance. I mean, has it's a just chance. Like, yeah. the costuming is that good. It's just such yeah. a level that like, and now TwitchCon too, because yeah. it's selected, you know, it's like those yeah. pe- everybody has a fair chance. And so it's just so crazy to, to, you know, to get that far. And then, you know, I don't know. I hope that, I don't think that they're the kind of girls that would get defeated and, and not compete again, you know, or not try again, no. but it no, definitely they're not. is. They're not. Yeah. It's definitely like, there is, 
there's no guarantee because it's so crazy the level of talent that compete in these contests. Yeah. And that's like as a as a person that makes it your job, it can be a really big risk to go the competition route. You know, to try to make money that if, way. If it's to, like, your compete. job, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then it's yeah. like I've invest I could invest all this time and compete with something and turn away other jobs for that and then not win. It's like gamble it's a little bit like gambling with your bit. career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Because like, if you don't show well, it's like what is it you know, and it yeah. and it could just be a personal preference, you know. It's not necessarily Exactly. And so. in like in, in the the contests are getting better and better and better. And so yeah. It's, I don't know, man, it's just a big gamble and you it never is. know what's going to be popular and you never know what somebody's going to show up with. And like, it doesn't even matter anymore. Everybody has smoke, moving stuff, lighting stuff. Y'all. The it's game, all accessible. Well, it's all accessible, right? Because it is. Yeah. I mean, it, with, you know, people like, I mean, I do, I've done a few tutorials. You yeah. Do stuff. And Wayne, uh, Wayne's workshop, I think is one, another one that does a lot of tutorials. Yeah. And like, um, you know, punish props. Not, I mean, you name it. You, like, yeah. You know, Vert Vixen, who was on uh, cat Valkyrie week. studios. She did a, a vape, uh, pin mod. All there's so much information now about how to make this stuff, you know, yeah. even five that, years ago, there wasn't nearly as much. And it was kind of like, you just kind of had to figure it out. And now yeah. you can, is there something you want to do on a costume? Yeah. If you, if you Google it. You can probably find a way to make it, or like, so or many find some you could ask, or find something that's close enough that you go, I can use this as a base, and I can adapt it to become this other thing, you know. Yeah. And and it's pretty much the the sky is the limit, you know, as far as the creation part of it for the community. It's so crazy the amount like you could. I mean, it's 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 insane to to think of like what costumes will be like in like ten years, like what kind of crazy stuff the next like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm curious to, think, to see like you know? how far things will go. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I want to make yeah. something that's not a costume, but like a moving vehicle. You know, like a like a, you know, like one of those little RV RC car thing or not RC car. Um, the uh, the Power Wheels. I want to mod a Power Wheels. You know, oh. lead that goes like dragon kind of stuff, dude. Yeah, I yeah. was like, man, that's something that I think would be super fun to do. But like, I would, and then I got to thinking, well, it doesn't have to be necessarily a Power Wheel. It'd be like a go kart because I need it to be stronger, and I could do like a really funny vehicle of some sort. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Like somebody's some character's cool vehicle. There's like so many fun things that you could do that aren't even just wearables. I I, to- I toyed with for a while because um, my daughter with her. Uh, you know, from Mad Max Fury Road, her Morton Joan costume, and she's yeah. and she's tiny to begin with. Well, I toyed with doing an Morton Joe vehicle for her out of one of the Power Wheels, you know. Oh my so, gosh! Because she's like I this this tiny little Joe on this tiny little car, you know. I just thought it would yes, be hilarious. That's hilarious. But again, I, an idea I had that I'll never do. So. I'm yeah, full. Like I'm stuff. full of those. I'm full of those. I'm chock full. <laughs> I start so many things. Like I have got to finish some stuff. I have to. This year, I was like, I need to round out 2017 with a lot of stuff that got started in this shop and is just sitting here unfinished. Like my my May tank. That's a beer dispenser. Like yeah. it's you know partially finished. Oh, that's right. Table. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, because I ran out of time for Dragon Con, and it's yeah. like, dude, that can't that cannot not get finished. That has to exist. <laughs> Because I bought the drink dispenser. It fit, it's like all modded and fits perfectly. I modded the blaster. The, yeah. the tube's actually running through the blaster right now. It's like I spent all that time prepping, theory crafting, ordering parts. I had need to finish some of these projects. Got to finish them. Theory crafting. I haven't heard that term before. Theory I like crafting, that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I theory craft many things in my head. Yeah, me too. <laughs> too many things. And I have like, no, I have this, Um, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I write stuff down and I lose the notepad and then I get another notepad and I write it down. So I have this like stack of notepads that just have like random stuff written in them. <laughs> oh, it's out of control. Like I'm, oh. I'm terrible. I, I always think I should write this down and never do. And then I forget. And then I remember again. I'm like, I should write this down and I never do. And then I forget. Oh my gosh. I'm the opposite. I write things down and don't write enough about it. So I'm like, what was this idea? <laughs> and I'm like, why did you write this down, Jackie? It's not even, it's a way waste of time you write down like butternut banana oh yeah <laughs> yeah what's it's, that it's supposed to remind you of something but you're like yeah exactly mm-hmm. and i just oh gosh i have so many ideas and i also have like um liz actually helped me with this it's like and with my blizzard videos i needed a little script like i have to write a script so it's not um so it has like a beginning and end and i can actually talk through stuff yeah so it actually a video. has a, a cor- so i have a bunch of scripts for videos i've written that are like my tutorials and it's like yeah. dude you've already done all the work just sit just, in front of the camera and record it, you idiot. Make it. <laughs> it's like, That's I don't funny. understand. <laughs> and Harrison actually posted something about his Chrome um, tutorial. He tried that new brush on Chrome stuff. And he yeah. also spread. 
Yeah. And uh, he's like, I filmed a bunch of stuff, you know, whenever I get around to editing it. But yeah. it's like, dude, we all do that. Oh, yeah. I know we all do. Like, we just have so much yeah. banked footage that could be really great tutorials that I we never do. <laughs> I, haven't filmed a, I haven't filmed a lot of stuff because usually what happens is I start a project. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a tutorial on this or I'm going to, you know, yeah. do a, or do like a Kamui style, like build video or something. Yeah. And then usually what happens is I'm pretty diligent about filming footage, you know, filming it. And then the closer I get to the end, the more I forget. And then, you know, and, oh my then, gosh, I, and then I have just like a bunch of footage of like the initial beginning and then like, <sighs> I feel Hardly, you. And then like a little bit less for the middle of the build and like nothing at the <laughs> end, you know? And Dude, so, it's like, yes. so it's like, I can't, I couldn't even assemble a video from it if I wanted to, but what I do have, and I'm, Oh, I've, for whatever reason, I've always been very diligent about when I work is taking like progress photos. I have like okay. <laughs> copious amount of progress photos of everything I've ever built, like thousands of photos. Um, I have which thousands, I'll, I've which I'm like sure I'll never do anything with because I guess originally I thought maybe I would write a like basically an old style blog post about everything I build, you know, yeah. um, kind of in my head. I think that's kind of what I always thought I was going to do. And then I did a couple and it's like, these take forever. <laughs> they do. Oh my gosh. Like I, I have a bunch of stuff pinned on Pinterest that are like these girls or guys that have this like photo blog that's step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make something. And yeah. it's like this beautiful photo, like long photo scroll thing. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I love that. I want to do that with all my progress pictures. And then I go to do it and I'm like, oh my God. It takes forever. Yeah. There needs to be a plug and play template. And yo, for real, if anybody's listening to this and you know if there's like a plug and play kind of cool template thing, please tell me because I can't handle Oh, you know what would be great though? Is like a phone app that, yes. that like assembled it for you as you were doing it. So like, so like you took a, you know, as you're like step one, you take a photo of it in the app and then you yeah. write in like the note of what you're doing. Right. And then you yeah. never revisit it again. And then at the end you hit, at the end you hit, you know, process or whatever. And it, and it basically makes a whole blog style post out of all the information you put in there. Dude, that is such a good idea. Because I, it, I wonder because it takes forever to go back. Cause the problem I have is, it's like you have to go back and remember what you did at the time yes. as I'm as I'm writing about the steps I did on this sword or whatever, you know, and half yeah. the time I don't remember what I did. Same. I have you to know? like that's why with the blizzard <laughs> thing, I had, to, I had to like really write stuff down along the way yeah. or I would not remember why. I, like I would film something and be like, why did I film that? Why is that different than this clip? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, duh. There yeah. was this stage. I actually like filmed a bunch of painting stuff and I couldn't tell myself watching it if it was like what stage of the painting it was because they were so <laughs> subtle, the changes. I'm like, I don't know which part this is. That's and even funny. one thing, when Liz edited my footage, um, she put something before the other, like it was reversed. I was like, yeah. no, girl, you have to do this part. But it's my fault because it was like so close. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Yeah, I need to be better about writing stuff down. And um, so there are so many people in our community that are like excellent, super fast tutorial doers. I know. They can either I do know. them blog or written or books or videos and they yeah. are so fast. Some people are just... It blessed with that i Better. guess so yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's like crazy to me but i, I guess like i like to make videos they're just they they yeah. take forever to do that's how i feel they take so, so long oh uh speaking of videos do you use iMovie uh yeah sometimes so because i uh, i was looking at getting a mac and i was yeah. like man mainly because a lot of people i know i even posted about this on my facebook page or on my regular facebook um if anybody, you know, if they're Mac users or whatever, and most people for video editing that answered were Mac, there was like one PC person. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was like, dang, all right. And then all these beauty gurus and other YouTubers I watch, they all do iMovie. Like, yeah. They're like, it's basic, it's easy. I can just get something well, that's out. That's the thing. It's like, it's, it's, it's aimed at consumers, right? So yeah. it, it's really easy to pick up. You can kind of sit yeah. down and mess around with it and figure out how to edit a video. I mean, I have yeah. it on my I have it on my iPhone. I, I actually have edited videos Me too. on my iPhone. It's that easy to use. Um, I did too. I, yeah, it's like I have I, like, I have Prem I have Premiere. But have you yeah. ever have you ever just like sat down and just looked at Premiere? Yes, I literally. Um, I, mean, I just like, went to it, download the trial yeah. or the uh, the one month rental thing. I wanted to try it out because I've yeah. never used Premiere. I it's like it's like all Adobe software. It's like yeah. it's it's professional grade and and, <clears> and it's not user friendly whatsoever. No. At all. <laughs> but Liz so. makes fastest edits I've ever seen with a, with Premiere Pro. She loves it. She just, like, once she got in the vibe with it. Well, once you learn yeah. it. And, and 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 most Adobe software is that way. It's like, I, I, can, I can basically use Photoshop with my eyes closed. 
Yeah, yeah, right? that's because, how I feel. And that's because why I've, Inkscape I've, is because like, I've, I've, I've worked in Photoshop for like 20 years, you know. Yeah, well, that's a lot longer than <laughs> you I, 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 mean, I, I, I mean, literally, I, I, literally I, yeah. have. I I've been using Photoshop for over 20 years. Um, I, I think when I started using it, it was version 2, you know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> you you really could do it with your eyes closed. It's insane. But, but, you know, but for most people, if you sit down and just open Photoshop and say, hey, do, you know, try to figure out how to do something you, without a, without looking up a tutorial, you can't even just like monkey, you know, monkey around with it and figure it out. And yeah. I'm getting a little better at Premiere because uh, some of the podcast stuff I've been for our videos I've been doing in Premiere. Oh, um, fancy I, schmancy. Well, when I, when I assemble... When I assemble the two videos together, I actually do that in Premiere and then export it. And then actually I do the finish up in it, of it in iMovie because I'm just quicker in iMovie and I've never taken the time to figure out how to do the rest of it in Premiere. So, <laughs> which is Dude. probably a really stupid workflow and people out there that are using video editors that really know what they're doing. Are probably like, cringing. Are they're cr I know they're cringing. They're like, yeah. you're an idiot, you know. Well, but And there's also like Final point, Cut Pro or something that you can get with Mac that people I, like. I love Final Cut Pro. Um, it's like... The, there was a big deal of uh, several years ago when it, when they went to Final Cut Pro 10 and they basically backlogged it to become more like a consumer friendly, more professional version of iMovie and all the Final Cut Pro people were really upset about it because it, they took away a lot of really great features <laughs> to, oh, no. to, to basically restart it. So there's like, there's still a lot of people out there still using the, the, the old version of Final Cut Pro, but, um, but Final Cut Pro 10 and newer, um, I actually really, really like it. It, I find it very easy to use. I just have never, it's like 300 bucks. So I've never shelled out the money. to yeah. buy it. So, um, but for very basic editing and quickly and just learning stuff really quick, iMovie's great. I, yeah. It, it's super easy to learn. So See, there's this YouTuber, um, that has 8 million followers or maybe, yeah more than that now bunny um graveyard girl or i think she might have 11 actually and she freaking does all her videos in iMovie yeah. <laughs> they're so cute and fine cause she's like a beauty you know she's a blo uh, vlogger yeah so it doesn't yeah. require a lot of cute editing and it's like dude she can just crank them out so fast yeah i love that. i like the ease of it yeah it, it is especially since it's free you know if you buy a mac or whatever it's great free software you know yeah. so so yeah i i would like to if i had my choice i would I would just convert to using Final Cut Pro, but like I said, I don't want to pay for it. So yeah, you know, and the Adobe thing is so cheap because you can. Well, you have it, like I think from your friend or whatever, but like you can rent it for like nineteen dollars a month or something. Yeah. it's not even that. It's not really that bad. It's not, if you just want to try it bad. for a couple months. Like yeah. if you just wanted to try it because you weren't sure about buying it, you could rent it for a couple months. Yeah, yeah, and it's not that you can't learn it or anything. It's just, <clears> it's just you know. <clears throat> yeah it's like all those pro software things they just they're they're kind of there's a very high steep learning curve until you get comfortable with it yeah, yeah. after effects was like that for me when i first started i was like what is this oh my gosh it was yeah just, but i was you, like i'm never gonna make this work if you used after effects i think you probably would be okay with premiere because i think after effects yeah. is harder to use it is so, yeah it's really hard and yeah. and like um it's just different stuff, but they say, um, but I was using Vegas, which is so weird. I'd make my intros and stuff in After Effects and my, my features, and then I would go to Vegas to do my editing. Yeah. I should have always, I should have just gotten promote, Premiere 10 Premier. years ago and just did, did that workflow. It would have been easier too, because I ran into so many plugin issues and like um, compatibility issues, which drove me insane. So now I'm like, gosh, I wish I would have just started with the, you know, kept the whole suite, but now I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to give it a go. And if I don't like premiere after renting it for a couple months, then maybe I'll get, um, I'll do the Mac route. But did your, uh, did you resurrect your laptop or is it? Yes. I was, that's what I'm on right now. Is I it have finished? never, I was like so upset, dude. My freak. I, I can't even believe how stupid I am. I have this wobbly table in my living room and I, it's my laptop table. And I have knocked over coffee, tea, water every, every time, just about. I just like always dump stuff on the floor because I'm an idiot and I have this wobbly table. And I dumped the whole cup of giant tumbler of water on my laptop. And, and like, I, I just was like, ah, I stood up and screamed and just like jumped, flipped upside down, turned it off. And I was devastated. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what have you done? You, girl, like you're an idiot. Your whole life is on that thing. So much stuff. I was like working on a pattern. I'm like, I didn't back any of this up. Oh my gosh. 
So I like I let I left it like um, angular upside down for th- two days, I guess. Yeah. Two and a half days, and then I turned it on and it works. And I was really scared. But my laptop, it. Um, are you talking about when it blue screened, or did I tell you I dumped water on it? No, it's just the last episode you were having issues with something. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, and that's you, like. Yeah. Yeah, I actually dumped water on it. Oh, okay. And it was like the worst thing. I thought, told, I was like, wait, did I tell him that? But um, that's so funny. It was so, I mean, it wasn't funny. I was so upset. I was like, and Matt's like, it'll be okay. Don't worry. I'm like, how do you know that? And I had to just like patiently wait while yeah. it was drying out. And I turned it back on yesterday afternoon. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. It was so scary. But it blue screened when I was um, doing prop live with Bill. Oh, and I had to like run inside yeah. and go to my desktop. And yeah. that's the, yeah. Cause that's, I told you that night that we filmed inside. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And that's when you had it, like, to made the over. craziest noise. So yeah. I thought it was dying then. And here I go dumping water on it. Like this laptop is crazy. It's like six years old. It's been to New Zealand. I've taken it everywhere. It is like, I say that now, please don't die. I need to back it. <laughs> <laughs> here I am talking about killing it. And I haven't even backed it up. Oh, please don't. Back it you up. still haven't backed it up. No, Jackie. I'm going to do that. Jackie, am, it's got come important on. stuff on it. It I know. is. You need to back What's it. wrong with me? That's, um, that's like the least adult thing ever. I know, right? There's cringing right now for that. Yeah. But I always like, I have this thing about like, well, if I back it up and then I kill the hard drive that I back it up on, then like what the heck? So I need to like back it up and back it up and back it up just to be safe. It's, <laughs> good, to have, so much space. it's good to have redundant backups. So It is. Yeah. And I need to, but I don't like putting my stuff in the cloud just because whatever. Oh, I'm you're, weird. One of the, you're one of those. I mean, I just, I get annoyed with it. Like the, the, it's always like you run out of space on your phone. Your cloud's full. Do you want to upgrade your storage? No, I do not. Do not ask me again. I will it's upgrade only, it when I feel like it. It's only so like, they're trying to force me into the cloud. Like a dollar or $2 or something. I don't even want to be a part of their, their cloud though. I like, Why not? I, I the want cloud's to great. I love the cloud. Well, I have like my, my computer's networked in the house and like, I yeah. like, I would like to have my own thing. My friend Anthony down the road, he's got his own little like storage cloud. And I just think that's such a cool idea and i want to make one for myself because yeah. i have so much space i just i have a i have a network storage for in my house but i also um, need it for yeah like i see what you mean like obviously if i'm not in my house but like when is that <laughs> well and then i was gonna say with because my wife does photography um all of not i don't have the um the hard drive backups going to the cloud but all of her photography stuff does so i like that you say photography <laughs> <laughs> what's what? that eric what what am i saying photography is that a furry Photo- photographer Photogra- photography Pho- photography fur- i like photography photography yeah. photography. Photography. photography photography i'm gonna say photography photography <laughs> i had pho for the first time or pho or foo or pho pho that's it it's delicious pho. it's is pho. it pho Oh, okay, I didn't that's know. Why I it said fa- it was like, that's why it I said. That's why I said. That's why I said photography. I oh, love, I got you. I yeah, you. I love pho. It's great. Yeah, it was the first time I had it. It was really good. I was surprised though. It came with like a side of like sprouts and then like mint. I wasn't about to put that mint in my. No, seat, it's, but it's basil. Sprout. It's not mint. It's basil. Oh. <laughs> yep. What are we doing? We're so um, we're ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, it's like sounds, the end of the podcast just gets crazy. I know you're, you're uh, now. I'm. It's like almost dinner time here, and it's like pho sounds really good right now. It's like oh, I have I ramen. Need, I have the world's spiciest ramen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I just have that I can eat. Wait, make sure Jill's alive first before you eat it. No, I haven't heard from her yet. I hope it didn't kill her. No, it didn't kill her. Okay. she's, like, she's right. awake in there. She goes straight. Sometimes she wakes up and like goes straight to solid work. She's like. No. A, now you have me thinking about pho. I I love. Do you have somewhere it's close that you can so get good. it? Uh, yeah, there's a place. It's not my favorite, but the no. place that the place that's my favorite is like 20 minutes away. So. Well, the only place that serves pho to us is an hour and 15 minutes away, or an hour oh, and 45 wow. minutes away. Wow, that's a long ways. It'd have to be good. Yeah, I got it when I picked up Jill far. from the airport. So uh, I like. Um, I don't. I generally don't put the basil. I don't particularly like that basil in my pho, but I do the sprouts. <laughs> And I like I do, sprouts a lot. I do the um. Did you, did you try the plum sauce? The plum sauce. You put a little bit of that in there. Yeah, I did. And, that was and good. then and then I also um, if you eat it in the restaurant, they usually have um, a little a little cup there on the table of the spicy, the really hot chili spice. Oh, I didn't try that, but I don't yeah. like spicy stuff. Yeah, I like it hot. I like it like 
I like my nose to run when I eat it. It's Oh my it's, gosh. I hate really... that. <laughs> I hate that so much. My nose runs like it's if like, I just have regular food. It, it's like <laughs> it's like really hot chili uh hot sauce basically. And and it's like it's it's like straight from the chili and it's yeah. like the oil of the chili. It's like it like pools on top. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I would not enjoy that at all. I always do that a, would just I always kill do a, me. A big old scoop of that in there too. That's how I like. So, it's so weird not, because I not that you just, asked, but that's how I like it. Yeah, not like, like anybody asked. Like They're all hot, just like, we I get like it. You hot. like spicy? Mm. <laughs> I like talking about food, so I don't know if you have noticed that. Me too. We started, and here we, we are. Started talking about pie. Now food. we're ending because yeah. like, we should probably end. But I want um, pie. Yeah, now, guys. Now like, we're ending talking about pho. That's so. fine. There's this girl on um, on Twitch that sends out fudge, homemade fudge, to her new subscribers for the really? holidays. Yeah, and I was like, dude, I want that fudge. Like, yeah. Do you have anything need- that do you do you bake at all? Do you have anything that you like to yeah. bake around the holidays? You know, it's so funny because like two days ago, I was looking up. I like to watch the Great American Bake or that baking show, the British oh, one. And have you been American. watching that, dude? I have. I've been watching the like great, on Netflix the old ones, but there's the a new great, one on the Great British Bake Off. Have yeah, I like that? that a lot. It's really oh, good with Mary Berry and Paul Hollywood. Oh, is that who they are? I don't know. The I don't judges, even listen to the names. The judges, yeah. I love They're that amazing. they cook outside. I love everything. The vibe is so chill. That's and such like, a cool gosh. show. We've been watching it as a show. we've been watching it as a family. My daughter and oh my I. Have been, gosh. I'm gonna go watch that after this because I really we'll like. We'll probably it. watch it tonight but I too. I want to make some like really every, good. I want to make some something for Christmas, but I don't know what. Every time I watch it, it makes me really want to eat sweet things, though. It does, yeah, and that's like the worst because I'll watch it at night and then I want to. I eat know, it. and then I want to munch things. It's like really I gotta stop. I don't really think there's good. anything sweet in my house right now, though. Oh, that's not true. Nana bought us carrot cake. Ooh, I like carrot cake. If it's good carrot cake. It has to be good carrot cake, yeah. If it's yeah. like really dry and just no, basically carrots no, 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 with no, like no. a little bit of cake, I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't particularly like raisins and things. And I carrot, hate raisins. <laughs> carrot cake usually has raisins, but some has less than Dice. more, you know. And it's like, if it's just like light on the raisins so I can chew around them, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, I don't like raisins at all. That is not my jam. If it has raisins, I have to fork them out. I don't know why I don't like them. It's just, I just don't. Well, <laughs> I, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, I haven't made these in a few years, but around Christmas every year I used to make uh, cinnamon or sticky buns. Yeah. That's I, I've like made homemade sticky buns, like with yeah. the yeast. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. I like those. They're really good, but they definitely take a little bit of work, but they're so tasty. They do, but they're oh. so good. Uh, there's a, a pioneer woman <laughs> recipe that I use. Yes. I love her. And uh, it, there's uh coffee in the, you put a little bit of coffee in the, in the glaze, right? And it, they're, mm. they're really, really good. <laughs> I have like, I worked on getting the Cinnabon frosting recipe down and yeah. I did a really good job, but oh, then yeah. I, didn't write it, I didn't write it down. Cream cheese frosting. Oh, so good. I love cream cheese. I frosting. love cream. That carrot cake has cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yeah. Frosting. That's why I like we carrot cake because it has cream cheese frosting on it. Speaking of cream cheese, um, I got this beef stroganoff recipe and I'm a, and oh. it has, like, a little bit of cream cheese in it. Oh, yes. I got to make. I gotta make beef stroganoff. I might do that tonight. Is that uh, is that one that you make in a slow cooker? It is, yeah. I've never done it that way. Oh, my wife just started using a recipe. It might even be the same one. Um, okay, she found, it, she found it on Pinterest. So, did you find it on Pinterest? Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really well, good. Did she make it? <laughs> yeah, we've had it. Like, oh. she just started using it this year. So. Yeah, so Matt started using the crockpot this year. So, so, like, I'm, I was. Well, that recipe, she's been using crockpots for several years. But oh, that recipe, <laughs> well. that recipe, she started using this year. I've probably had it four or five times, and it is. Like, oh my gosh, I have to have it now. I'm really so, now I'm craving is, that, and I'm not gonna be able to so eat it. It's so good. Out. It is so good. It's, I want it, it Eric. I gotta make beef stroganoff now. Look at all the, <laughs> no, I can't even do it in the crock. I can't have it tonight. It's gonna no, be like six. No, because it has. To, it takes like six hours. <laughs> uh, but it's so delicious. Well, I can have it tomorrow for dinner. <laughs> do it. Oh, you know the worst part about the worst part about it is smelling it cook all Ooh, day long. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. And um, Matt makes the chili in the crock pot that is oh. so good. I haven't made chili before and I want to make some. I, I oh, need to. I love chili. I, I do too. I, I love chili. Like it's one of my all time favorite things. And we've made everybody hungry. I know. Like we're hungry. We're talking about it and they're all been they're I'm gonna eat. Too. Like people I, know, walk- I need to go find food now because I Okay. I am, I'm going to find food. Hungry. You find food. I'm gonna go watch the British baking show and then think about more food. What season <laughs> are you what season are you watching on it? I don't you know. know. I just been watching on Netflix, like whatever's on there. Yeah. I'm like so bad because I just like the background noise, but sometimes oh, I'll like you. sit there, it'll they'll do something really cool and I'm like, Oh, I just get lost yeah. and have to just stare at it. Yeah. 
We watched uh, whatever the newest one is. We watched that first because my wife hadn't seen it yet. And you watched because she had already watched like the first three seasons that are on there, and then we went back to the beginning and started rewatching it with her. So yeah, I'm gonna anyway. I, I'm gonna go look on Netflix and see, I but I want to start the, with the new one. Then we're on the second season right now, so we still have the third and fourth or the third one to watch after the second. So anyway. Not that anybody cares, it. but as a fun show, you can watch it with your family. All you'll do is want to eat things. And the, exactly. thing I, the thing I like about it the most is it's sort of a reality show, but there's no drama. It's not about drama. It's just about the baking. Yes, That's it is. It. And like it's the just weirdest about thing the to me is those judges. Like sometimes when somebody doesn't do their pastry dough all the way uh-huh. or something, they still have to taste it. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not eat your raw dough. Oh, Put that there, back in the oven. <laughs> there's been a couple this season that we've been watching where they he wouldn't even try it because it was like this oh, is not, he's like this is raw. I'm not going to eat well, this. <laughs> I'm like I'm, I'm going to watch the season then because I love when it's raw. I mean, it's I don't, but it's like fun. <laughs> oh, the look on the on the contestants' face when it's like because they're all they're all like anticipating waiting, you know, and they're like, oh, what's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? Uh, yeah, this is raw, and the, their face just like. Oh, you just feel so bad for them because they try so hard and they're all really excellent bakers. I mean, I mean, they, they try out like 10,000 people, so it's not like they don't know what they're doing, Yeah, but it's like they, you know, it kind of reminds me of what they did to you guys on cosplay melee, where they know that you, that, that the time limit, it's more about the time limit than about, than about like, can they make this thing? Because if they exactly. have all the, yeah. if they have all the time in the world, they could make this thing perfectly, but it's like, can they make this thing perfectly w- with this kind of really tight time that we set for them? You know, it's all about the time. Yeah. It's that's all that's about the time. TV, yeah. 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 And it, and then that way it completely reminds me of cosplay melee in that way. So, because you know, any of them could, if they had unlimited time, they could make the thing as perfect as possible. Yeah, and like, there's some you people know. that you don't want to have unlimited time because you know they can make it really good. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, exactly, exactly. Your thing is that you can make it fast. Well, so and and like with them, it's like if it fails, they could just throw it away and restart it, and they could keep doing it until they make the perfect thing, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. And so, so that show is really about giving them the time crunch and giving like this really hard challenge, and only giving them like three hours to do it. You know? Yeah. I when like you know that. that normally there's not enough time for like whatever the thing is for the pastry to cool for the right amount of time. So when you put, yeah. the, so when you put the whipped cream on it, the whipped cream doesn't, you know, doesn't melt and all this kind of things as you're building these layers and, you know, and yeah, and, it's crazy. Cause that stuff comes out of, like, there has to be, you know, whatever TV magic goes on in that. Yeah. It's interesting because there's no way they're just taking like boiling hot, like, like stuff yeah. filled. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, so totally. So right, yeah. I'm going to go anyway, watch now. Okay. Time to get some food and watch some. Okay. Great. It was fun chatting with you, and we'll catch yeah. up more soon. Yes, so go in, definitely. Go find some food. I'm going to go tell Matt we ne- we have to have stroganoff tom- tomorrow. Tomorrow, you know. yes. Tell me yes. what you think because it's it's great. Mm. All right. Will, Thanks, All everybody, right. for listening. And Thanks we'll, for listening, we'll, guys. I know it was weird. <laughs> this was just when kind of it? a this was just kind of a chill a chill one. It's holidays. So. We're just talking about food. All you right. guys are too. So. Talk to Thanks you for all. listening. <laughs> okay. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you next time on Crafting Geek. Bye. Bye. Bye.